everyone, welcome to episode one of Into the Mist. This is our official D&D Curse of Strahd campaign live stream. Um, we are so very excited and happy to have you all here and to be live on the D&D Twitch, yeah. which we're very, very excited about. We'll go around and we'll introduce everybody and all that. But first off, a couple of announcements. Just we'll get all those out of the way so that we can get right into the meat and the fun of all of the fun stuff. Uh, I want to thank our partners, first of all, of course, WizKids for uh, a lot of the minis that we use. Uh, Sirenscape for all of the ambient music um, and sound effects as well. And D&D for putting us natively on their channel for the first time. We are. This is something that we've dreamt about for the last two years. We've been at this for two years. We've had a bunch of live streams. You can catch all those on YouTube. Um, but uh, a little bit about Realmsmith really quick for those of you that are brand new to Realmsmith, have never been um, with us before uh, for any of our live streams. We started about two years ago when all of us, uh, three, four years ago actually at this point, uh, when a couple buddies and I decided that we wanted to start playing D&D again in our late 30s. Um, and one of those people was Todd and the other person was Dale. Uh, and for the last two years, all of a sudden, uh, we came together. Joel, who was at the table with us, um, decided uh, that we should start, <laughs> that's Joel, uh, that we should start streaming it. Um, and we started streaming it. We've had a number of streams. I think we've had like, I don't know, 70 some odd episodes all, in all yeah. up to this point. Um, and, but Curse of Strahd is really close to my heart. Uh, it's something that I played when I was a teenager and I loved and I still remember very, very vividly. Uh, and so I really wanted to bring a Curse of Strahd campaign to the D&D Twitch from Realm Smith. So this will be fun, it'll be dark, it'll be crazy. Um, Unfortunately, Todd, who was one of our players on our other streams, um, took his life last April. So it's been a difficult year for us. And so this is a really exciting, fun next step. Uh, and we want to dedicate this stream to Todd because uh, he'd love it for us to be here. Um, and we're all playing in his honor and in his memory. So um, apart from that, uh, we have two things we're doing tonight. You can go to a, a, a screen, a wide shot, Tim. Tim is producing for us. Everyone say hi to Tim and Jeff hi, back Tim. there. They're hi, doing hi, all Tim. of the production yep. stuff, which is really exciting. Um, two things. So first of all, we are going to turn this into an interactive stream. Um, part of the thing that we want to do at Realmsmith is to bring people to our table, which is kind of why this camera angle is set up this way, so that you feel that you're actually at the table playing with us on a weekly basis. Um, one of the things that we want to do is actually have you guys affect the game in real time while we're at the table. Um, we're testing some of that functionality tonight. So the first thing is, and this should work, right, Joel? It should work. <laughs> uh, if you follow us on Twitch, and our, that has to be on our channel, right? So correct. right now we are live on the D&D Twitch. We're also live on the Realmsmith Twitch. So if you go to uh, twitch.tv slash Realmsmith and you follow us, this potion bottle should light up. Please um, try it anytime. And so you can <laughs> spam it as much as... You, well, you can't spam it, but anyways, people can follow us as much as they want during the, this session. Again, if you head over to realmsmith.tv slash, uh, sorry, twitch.tv slash realmsmith, you can get uh, let this thing kind of light up. And the DM screen lights up too, right? It does. They both do. I believe so. Okay, we or don't know. Just that one. Until it happens, we're, we're not sure if we're it works. Working, we're working towards making sure that works right now. Okay. <laughs> the other thing is we've partnered with Extra Life to give back to the community, and we're going to continue to do that throughout uh, the entirety of the campaign. Um, eventually getting to the point where you can actually buy items for the players at the table and send them to us in Barovia through the mists uh, and even potentially mess with the players too. Oh. Um, so that is something that we'll be doing and uh, basically you're making purchases uh, within Twitch using bits to send us items that they, they can use and a portion of that goes to Extra Life. So if you donate to Extra Life tonight, you also affect the lights in the room automatically and at the bottom of the screen there. Yeah, automatically. That's, yeah, automatically. And at the bottom of the screen there, you can see donate to Extra Life and light our DM screen and it'll do that. And you have to donate to Extra Life in the panel below our Twitch window, right? Correct. 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 Okay, awesome. Uh, you can even test it, Joel, see gonna, if it works. I'm going to try Anyways, it. but yeah, so feel free to do that again. You have to do, do all of that on our Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash realmsmith. Um, I think that's all the announcements for now. Um, in the break, we'll talk about some more stuff, and we'll circle back around to that stuff. But are you guys ready to kind of dig in? And Let's yeah. do it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let's okay. do it. Awesome. All right. So what we're going to do, actually, is we're going to break up the party. 
which is always a great idea. Oh, yeah. Um, because, uh, for those of you that don't know about Curse of Strahd, uh, it happens in a different place that's very mysterious, which we don't want any spoilers just yet. So, um, I would like Joel to stay in the room and all of you guys can exit. Unplug yourselves, just put your mics on the, on the, ta on the, on the table. Yeah, it's gonna go. <laughs> yeah, maybe keep your mics on the outside for now. Um, and then, and then you guys can come back when Good I call you. Time. Just don't be far. Um, he asked you to cough. Don't. <laughs> yeah. Don't cough. Just. <laughs> don't. Joel, I need you to stand in this position. No, don't do it. I, w I won't. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. How you doing? I'm. I'm excited. I'm yeah? scared and excited. Yeah. I yeah. started playing, or I started reading. Just keep it down, you hooligans. <laughs> All right. Yeah. You're scared. I'm scared because I read. Ravenloft books when I was thirteen and fourteen years yeah. old. Yeah. So I'm 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 afraid, and but I'm super pumped. Good. It's gonna be awesome. Good. Good. Long has it been your desire to travel from mist to mist. For years you've heard tales of another place much like your home, your prison. Much like. <laughs> Although, instead of typical borders. The bars were deadly fog that surround your land. Mm. A land ruled by an undead tyrant of untold power, a lich king. You've been forced to study the art of dispatching the creatures that lurk at night, the dead that still walk, all in preparation for that day you've been certain would come for a long time. Can you introduce your player, please? Your character. Um, my name is uh, Falfor Softfoot. And uh, I am uh, I am a small little halfling uh, who enjoys um, fighting monsters and going <laughs> into places that are dark. And everyone believes that uh, that Falfor is uh, is a child. Everyone thinks he's too small to do things. Yeah. But he is not. He's very cunning. He's very wise. He has a very weak stomach. And uh, this accent comes from him um, being one of the few of his race left who speak Luiric, which is the original tongue <laughs> of the halfling. Is that right? That's absolutely <laughs> true. Check it out online. Um, so this is why he speaks in such a manner. Yeah, I like it. He's a ranger and uh, carries two uh, hand crossbows on his back. On his back impressive mm -hmm. today is just another day like any other another dull tavern in another dull town it is but another span of time between the challenges of true adventuring outside the tavern a fog lies over the town this evening the damp cobbled pavement glistens as the lights of the street lanterns dance across the slick stones mm. The fog chills the bones and shivers the soul of anyone outside. Yet inside these tavern walls, the food is hearty and the ale is warm and frothy. A fire blazes in the hearth and the tavern is alive with tumbling voices of ta uh, country folk. Suddenly, the tavern door swings open and a hush falls over the room. Hmm. Framed by the lamp-lit fog, a form strides through the doorway. His heavy booted footfalls and the jingle of his coins shatter the silence. His brightly colored clothes are draped in loose folds about him, and his hat hangs askew, hiding his eyes in shadows. With hesitation, he walks up to you and stands proudly in a wide stance with folded arms. Hmm. I have been sent to deliver a message if you be a creature of honor, you will come to my master's aid at first light. It is not advisable to travel the Svalik woods at night. He pulls from his tunic a sealed letter, which I have here somewhere. Addressed to you in beautiful flowing script, he drops the letter on the table. Take the west road from here, some five hours march, down through the Svalik woods. 
There you will find my master in Barovia. Barovia? Could this be it? Could this be the long-awaited day you fulfill your destiny? Hmm. Amid the silent stares of the patronage, the gypsy strides to the bar and says to the wary barkeep, Feel the glasses, one and all. Their throats are obviously parched. He drops a purse heavy with gold on the bar. With that, he leaves and he starts at the door. What do you do? Uh, I'm sitting at the bar. I'm uh, sitting at the bar. Yeah, sure. Okay, so I'm sitting at the bar. I see the the pile of coins. Yeah. I uh, I turn to everyone in the room, and I go. Well, that was very interesting. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, I guess I will drink to his honor. Um, everyone, there's there's money on the bar. Let's let's have a drink. That's what I say. And uh, awesome. and while everyone is distracted, I open the letter. Okay. And do I read it? Yeah, you read it out loud. <clears throat> awesome. Um, it says, "Hail to thee of might and valor." I, a lossly servant of Barovia, send honor to thee. We plead for thy to desperately, sorry, for thy desperately needed assistance. The love of my life, Trina Coliana, has been afflicted by an evil so deadly that even the good people of our village cannot protect her. She languishes from her wound, and I would have her saved from this menace. Uh, there is much wealth in the, in this community. I offer all that I might be had, all that might be had to thee and thy fellows, if thou shalt but answer my desperate plea. Come quickly, for her time is at hand. All that I have shall be thine. Kolian Indirovich, Burgomaster. And at this point, everybody in the tavern is kind of looking your way wondering what is going on, not quite understanding um, what just happened. Um, I uh, I pull up, I roll up the letter, the little scroll. I hold it up to them and says, Ha! A letter from my parents! <laughs> I have not heard from them in so long. Um, they wish me good luck in my new adventuring place uh, here in Barovia. I've been here a few um, but a few weeks, and uh, and uh, yes, I'm looking for a team uh, of adventurers to help me. But uh, this will help my. Um, I need the encouragement. So thank you, parents. Mwah! And I put it in my pocket. Okay. And you you see some kind of sidelong glances, but most of them will just go back to their drink. Okay. Um, can I can I uh, as as people are so obviously he paid for everyone to drink. Right, yes. he put some money yeah. on the bar. Yeah, and he paid yeah, and, and the drink. bartender's already. He's pulled the, the gold and he starts counting it out, making sure it's there. Okay. And he's like, "Drinks on the house!" And he <laughs> rings a bell, and everybody cheers, and things start to really get <laughs> lively everyone. again. Yes, and everybody starts laughing uh, and dancing, clink, and everything's clink, good. Clink. Oh. Uh, so, um, so my stature is small. Um, hmm. Right, I'm I l I'm probably like a, the, this little. I look like a little kid. Yeah. Sitting at this bar, like I'm like had to climb up yep. to the bar to get onto this this bar and get the drink. And as I'm as I'm drinking, I say, "Bartender, um, this seems like there's no no uh, juice to this drink. Can you uh, please give me another?" Uh, you want juice? No, I mean this seems so uh, weak. You've served drinks for adults or for children? What would you like? Mm. Another ale, please. Uh, uh, maybe three of them. Three ales. Three ales. Well, he has paid for one. You will pay for the other two. Oh. Uh, well. Um. Are you sure he only paid for one of the oh, ales? For everyone, yes. That's, that's what a round of drinks is. Well, I mean... Fine, and he, has this one. he grabs a, a, a mug and kind of looks at you sidelong and pours out of the keg that's sitting on the bar, and he hands you a tankard of ale. Okay, um, so I'll take the ale. I'll put it beside the drink I'm currently drinking. Yeah, and uh, I say, "Excuse me, Monsieur Bartender. I am uh, I'm looking for some 
people yeah. who are interested in uh, fighting monsters and uh, uh, getting rid of the bad things in the world. Uh, do you know of anyone such as this from around here? I mean, uh, you adventuring types come through here every once in a while, but mm. are you new here? Because this place has got its handful of monsters on its own. It's got its hands full. It's a dark place, as you know. I don't know if you've been here long, but... I have not been here long. I heard okay. from... Um... You're in dark. Mm. You're in your home. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm in, uh, no. I'm in Dark Home? Yeah. Oh, sorry. wow! <laughs> sorry, yes. That's good to know. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, you are currently... Um, sorry, folks. He is currently in Dark uh, He is currently... Uh, it is a kind of sister demi-plane to uh, Brovia. And okay. I, 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 that was lost in was communication lost. somewhere. I, yes, I thought I was in So, anyways. Okay. <laughs> so, in Dark Yeah, go Okay. So, um, so, I say, oh, no, this is my home. Uh, you know, I have... Uh, I have I just have something that inside me that says uh, I must search out for uh, for the dark and bring in the light. So I'm looking for others who can help me with that mission. Um, what was the question? People come here and right. They come and go and looking for adventure. But you have not seen anyone who might be an adventurer like myself. No. Mm. Not in the last week. Well, seems I'm the only one of these kinds of people in my town. I feel like uh, like I probably need uh, to go out and search elsewhere. If you find someone, yes, could you uh, leave them this? And I, I'll pull out a single copper coin, <laughs> and I'll hand it to him and say, "This, my friend, is for when someone is looking for some work to kill monsters." Voila. For, a, for a copper. Well, I mean, it's a, it's the first thing they will get from me. It's just a little incentive. I mean, who else is paying for monster hunting? Puts it into his lapel. All right. Thank you, my friend. Um, do you know? Um, uh, have you heard of any crazy monsters around here? I mean, other than your typical working creatures, I mean. You've been here a while. I've seen you before. And yes, I have killed them all. You don't want to go out at night. I, uh, you've killed them all. The night is not that bad. <laughs> it's when you... Uh, it's the people who have no heart. They are the real monsters. <laughs> yes. Um, will you be needing your your room again tonight? Uh, I would appreciate it. One more night, please. All right, that will be another five copper, please. Oh, of course. Uh, I pull out my purse. Yep. Change purse, fiddle around, yep. uh, pretending that there's a lot of money in there, knowing that there isn't, mm -hmm. and uh, putting out five coppers and go, spend it wisely! And he takes <laughs> it. Uh, not only oh. in one place. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All yeah. right. So, what do you do for the rest of the evening? Yeah, I'm going to go back um, up to my room. Kay. I'm going to have my drink, yep. drink it down, like, go, 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 okay. go. Uh, have my first drink, <laughs> yep. and then go up to my room. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you settle in for the night, feeling a little buzzed. Um, you've enjoyed an evening of drinking and okay. all that sort of thing. Um, you have a fairly good sleep, but there is some excitement in you. Uh, you've been told to, to head out at first light. Hmm. Uh, and you've kind of held back from leaving right away, but you thought that that would probably be a good idea. Yep. Um, you come down, have your breakfast in the morning, gather your things. What do you do? So, yeah. Pull all my stuff together, go down to the main. I'm um, assuming there's someone down there to help get breakfast. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, you've had you, you get down there. You've had your breakfast. You've had okay. your fill. You're you're awesome. you're set to go. Okay, I say uh, I say to the tavern keep, whoever's there, and the waitress or the maid the maiden say, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my belly is so full. I feel like uh, like in this place, you really need the energy of the food, you know, and the drink. So thank you. Is there uh, some free drinks going out this morning? Anything uh, that I could spur my spirit on, Whis? No? Okay, I will go! <laughs> they all kind of look at you. I mean, they're they're pretty dour. This is a pretty kind of quiet tavern, even sure. though Sirenscape right now is telling you that it's a lively <laughs> right. it's pretty, tavern. Yeah. It's pretty much quiet. Yeah. You know, just a fire on the hearth and, and those having breakfast, yeah. Um, okay, I will walk out into the street. Okay. You walk out in the street. 
and following the directions that you were given, you take the road uh, down into um, the woods. You imagine or what he was talking about? You've never actually heard of the Svalik Woods. Mm. Uh, but you know that there is a pretty heavily wooded area, not far, a number of hours trek. Okay. About five hours. He's like, you, you thought maybe lost in translation, maybe that's what he called it. Yep. But four hours into your travel, the woods darken as the trees begin to close ranks. Mm. Their needle-covered arms interlocking to blot out the sun. The shroud of mist that covers the ground turns into creeping walls of gray fog that silently envelop you until you can't see more than a few feet in any direction. Mm. Soon, everything disappears. Suddenly, you feel your feet make purchase on what feels like hard earth. You look down and the fog begins to clear. As the mist disperses, you don't recognize your surroundings anymore. Mm. I would like you to go up and get David, please. And leave. And leave. Okay. Yeah, you are. You are out. Senor, senor. Fun, fun, fun <laughs> adventure hooks. David! Hope all of you at home are enjoying this thus far. As we get our next folks down here. I think it's David is coming down. Coming. Okay. Good luck, my friend. Thank you. Have a seat, sir. Welcome back. Thank you. And you've played on a couple of our streams before, but this is uh, this is your first stream you started with us from, from the get. That's right. As part of the core cast, right? Um, all right. So... Werewolves in the mist. You've heard these dreaded words spoken again and again by farmers, merchants, and adventurers alike. The hamlets east of Daggerford have fallen prey to a pack of werewolves that spills out of the misty forest on nights of the full moon, cloaked in crawling mist that seems to follow them wherever they go. The beasts spread death and mayhem, slaughtering adults and stealing children before retreating back into the woods. Others have tried to combat the werewolf menace with little success. Not much of this troubles you. Werewolves are quite passe and have lost their intrigue. But mists. Now mists are a thing that pique your interest. Long have you heard of a land surrounded by a deadly fog. A place birthed by shadow. Could this be the crossing over point? Could this be the... Sorry. <laughs> um, could this be the crossing over of that demiplane into this one? Could the re research be accurate? Does Barovia actually exist? If you can take a moment and introduce yourself to everyone. Am I looking right here? Over there. <laughs> oh yeah, you can look over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, my character or myself? Your character. Well, you can introduce yourself first and then introduce your character. Hey, I'm David Shaheen, and I will be playing Roan Talrithian, a human shadow sorcerer. All right. One sec. I thought that was going to be a little longer, so I'm not quite ready yet. Would you like to expand <laughs> on that? No, it's good. It's good. Uh, tell us a little bit about your what your character looks like. Yeah. Kind of what uh, he carries all the time. So kinds. my character uh, is wearing uh, regular clothing. Uh, he has, uh, you know, Caucasian skin, uh, dark black hair. Uh, at first gaze, blue eyes, but at times they seem to be black orbs. Ooh. Um, Scary. Hmm. About six one. Mm -hmm. I think that's good. Ridiculously good looking. <laughs> High charisma. Naturally, mm. naturally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> good. After a long, another long evening of patrolling the woods in search of these werewolves, mm. you end up finding a place to set up camp. The woods are quiet this night, and the air grows chill. Your fire sputters as low mist gathers around the edges of your camp, growing closer as the night wears on. By morning, the fog hangs thick in the air, turning the trees around you into gray ghosts. Then you notice these aren't the same trees that surrounded you the night before. What do you do? Um, I want to uh, stand up and look around. Do I, uh, do I notice anything? Um, how, how, how heavy are the mists? Yeah, here? right away you notice that your the mists are starting to disperse. 
um, the clearing that you're in, the distance you can see is about 50 feet at this time, and, right. and they're receding fairly quickly. Uh, and they seem to clean, cling as they almost like tendrils and fingers around trees as they, as they leave. Um, oh, sorry. Um, and as they wrap away from 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 the surrounding rocks and trees, almost like they're they're um, slinking away. Uh, oh, we got a <laughs> we got a follower. <laughs> um, and. You notice that the camp that you have, there actually is no fire left. There's no fire pit that you started. Um, the items that you brought with you are there, your bedroll, uh, your pack, your weapons. But there is no remnant and nothing left of the campsite that you created the night before, other than your things that are more or less where you left them the night before. Right. This is interesting. I'm going to. Do, do I see any trails? Any any uh, any ways that uh, you know the woods might seem a little bit more clear? Uh, give me a survival check. Sure. That is a fifteen. Have you memorized your character sheet? I'm pretty sure I have. <laughs> oh wow, that's incredible! And that is a realm smith first. <laughs> that is pretty awesome. That's fifteen. Yeah. Okay. So I'll with the fifth, sure. yeah. So you, you you search for about fifteen minutes. You start to kind of you don't go too far from where you are. Um, the trees here are different. Uh, less leaves. Um, there is an eerie silence. Uh, the sun, even though it's the morning, is blotted out by a dense fog that covers almost like a canopy over over the woods. Uh, the trees reach up into the sky and disappear into this kind of foggy canopy. Right. Um, you hear cracks in the distance. Um, you see prints. Um, clearly wolf or canine prints. Um, some larger footfall prints. Hmm. Uh, but not recent. You search for a short while. And finally, you come to a dirt road. After you've gathered your things. Mm -hmm. The dirt road is lined with tall pines. You've pretty much surmised that this is not where you were, but is in fact now where you are. Could I make the assumption that I have succeeded and found Barovia? Give me um, an Arcana. Uh, give me a history check if you want. Yeah. Uh, that will be. I don't remember my intelligence. Yeah. Uh, a nine. A nine. Um, with the nine, um, it's pretty obvious that you've been transported somewhere. Mm -hmm. You don't know much of Barovia. All you know is of some of the legends, the lore. Some of it changes. It's not readily available. You've had to dig quite deep even to get the small amount that you've been able to get th mm -hmm. thus far. Um, but it, it adds up. It all adds up. It's just not definitive at this point. Okay. Um, you suddenly hear something approaching along the dirt road around the bend. Um, I'm going to uh, ready a, uh, a spell, yeah. uh, just in case it's a, uh, an enemy or someone that's hostile, but okay. not, not attack. I'll ready okay. a fireball. F fireball? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Okay. Firebolt. Firebolt. I was going to say fireball for some level. Uh, yeah. 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 That would be pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay, so um, you ready a fireball. Um, are you taking cover at all? Are you standing in the middle of the road? Where do you want to? I'm wanna... standing in the middle of the road, okay. staring ahead. Okay. All right. Um, Joel. Joel. <laughs> All right. Bringing it back. All right. As you're staring down the road, all of a sudden from around the corner comes a little person. Three feet tall. Um, dressed in earthy tones. Um, he has wild, curly, wavy hair uh, about him. And he has a goatee. His mustaches kind of curl up a little bit. The goatee comes down. Uh, and he's kind of strutting, kind of nonchalantly down the road. 
As you're walking down the road, you see a gentleman standing in the middle of the road. Um, and at this point, you've noticed that the fog, there's a fog layer above the canopy of the forest that blots out the sun. Hmm. So you know it's daytime, you know it's morning, but it's incredibly gray. Um, the trees are, as I said before, unnaturally close, almost like the, the, the branches are clawing for supremacy, see, and, and almost like fighting for the space that they, that they um, hmm. uh, control within the area. Um, and the gentleman you see in front of you, if you want to give him a, a description of you. Uh, so I'm about 6'1", six 6'2", six um, pale skin, uh, dark black hair, uh, regular uh, common clothes. Uh, yeah, how about you? Mm. Yeah, same. No, he was, yeah. 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 I am uh, I'm a three foot, very slight, uh, as in super thin, mm. uh, child-like looking person, but with facial hair, probably too much facial hair, um, and large, kind of wavy, curly uh, hair, and I'm kind of shifting, looking at, at the road, looking at tracks, trying to find things mm. to kind of guide my way through. I... I I look more lost than I've ever looked. Does know? he appear threatening in any way? Uh, give me a perception check. Or uh, an in insight check, actually. Uh, yeah, that's an eight. An eight. Um, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he looks pretty. I mean, you can't even really tell. Uh, you see the, the butts of what looks like crossbows on his mm -hmm. back, but he's kind of like skipping along. Um, doesn't look too, too intimidating at all. All right, mm -hmm. I'm gonna dismiss my firebolt okay. in my hand, and then I'm gonna call out to him. Okay. Boy, what land is this? <laughs> I turn to him, and uh, and my hair kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> like, are you talking to me? Yes. Uh, what land is this? Ah, uh, it is a land that we obviously both don't know very well because I have no clue. <laughs> I, uh, are you lost? I appear to be. I appear to be lost for the very first time in my whole life. Very first time. Uh, so it is very strange. Are you saying that you were lost recently as well? All I know is that this fog started uh, then it felt like a warm blanket, which I love. I love warm blankets. And then, uh, then <laughs> it, 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 uh, it brought me to this place, and under my feet, I could tell the ground was different than where I came from. What land did you originate from? I'm from a special little place called uh, Darkon. It is, it's, it's pronounced uh, in my language Darkon. And, Never heard uh, of it. No, it's uh, it's uh, uh, we love to keep to ourselves. My people like to keep um, with our own. But uh, I have a, th I have a, I have a lust for adventure. How about yourself? Yes, adventure, monsters, killing them. I don't yes? know about adventure, but I think I might have stumbled upon what I was looking for. Oh. If you are new to this land as well, perhaps it's best that we join together for a time. Oh, I. Uh, <laughs> so surprising. I've tried many times to uh, to uh, find other people to adventure with, even with my own home. And uh, you, know, you hear the howl of a, of a wolf in the distance. I think perhaps uh, we should team up. Yes, <laughs> I think we should. Um, I think it best we move. I agree. I, I will move as well. Where would you like me to move to? Which direction did the howl come from? Um, behind the, the from the from the direction that he came, and so the the road from the direction he came, mm -hmm. hmm, and uh, in my direction, yeah. And it appears. Uh, give me a uh, perception check. Sure. Nine. Um. Sorry. Six. Six. Shadow on that. Yeah. Um. With the six, it's pretty obvious that the fog is thicker behind him than it is ahead of you. So to the right, the road is clear. To the left, the fog almost has crept in behind him. 
Hmm. I, um... Generally, I would go and track this beast and kill it for food. But tonight, I'm not sure that is wise. So, uh... I say we move in that direction, and I point opposite the direction of where the fog is pulling in behind us. I think you're right. But before that, what is your name? Uh, my name is Farfar Softfoot. Falfor Softfoot. And your name is? Farfar. Fal Far. Like the <laughs> apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Farfar Softfoot. As in, keep your feet soft. Right. Rome Talrithian. Rhone? Wow, that is very... Like Rhone. Peculiar name, Rhone. Like a throne, but with no... F- no, no, just just Rhone. Rhone. Let's okay. head out. I agree. Let's go. Okay. So. I would like you guys to go get um, Melanie and tell Brandon to be close behind. Okay. Please. Okay. Uh, not to join us yet, but to, okay. to, to be prepared. They're coming together, folks. They're coming together. And thanks for the donations and for the follows. We got those. Uh, we we're still working out how all that works. But thank you very much. If you do like what we see, what you're seeing, obviously, uh, follow uh, the D&D Twitch. Also, you can follow us at twitch.tv slash realmsmith. Come on in, Melanie. Are you nervous? I'm sweating. Are you sweating? Oh, my God. <laughs> I need to do some lunges. <laughs> Wouldn't that make you sweat more? Oh, I know. It'll burn off some. You can sit here, actually. This would probably be a better spot yeah, for you. Just yeah, like Yeah. Oh, for now. Do some jumping jacks. They can't hear you, though. So you got to put that on. Have a seat. So Melanie is uh, new to d and in general. Uh, she's obviously been kind of watching me do my thing for the last three years. She's played d and a few times, played on one stream back with Todd actually a number of years ago. This is her second stream ever, maybe third game ever. So uh, she's been researching as much as she can, but she is the noob of the group, so be kind. Yes. Um, and um, are you ready? We'll see. What's my questions? There's no questions. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works. I fix C. Like I fix C. There is the an answer interview. C. Okay. Lady Susan. What? Of the village of Hepburn is having guests for dinner. Okay. And you, Callie, are invited. Okay. You don't like people. I don't. You don't like parties. And frankly, you prefer a good stiff drink over a fancy meal. I do. But you have nothing better to do this given evening. A cool autumn breeze blows through the streets as you make your way to the keep. I'm trying to get my thing up so I know my, <laughs> so I know these things. So we can walk you through again. You're new. I get it. Okay. You're so nervous. I'm, so, you need to I'm shaking. You need to breathe. Okay. I'm like sweating. <laughs> All right. So you are uh, a Asamar rogue. Level oh, one. Asamar. Asamar rogue. Yeah. Level one. Yeah. Um... Can you tell me a little bit about your character? And it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Just tell me kind of the concept behind your character and, and, and what she's like for the viewers at home. She's a girl. Yeah. 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 Um, well, what do you want to know? Well, you don't have to tell like, the whole backstory, but basically okay. just like like her, her deal. What's her deal? I got... I got okay. What's, her, what's your deal? Um, okay. Well, okay. I got like two things I can say. Yeah. What do you want to know? Like, do you want to know like <laughs> um, her commercial arts? Is that? <laughs> do you want to know? Do you, okay. Do you want to know like <laughs> how I was named, or do you want to know um like why I left? Um. Okay, I'm gonna go. Yeah, you okay. just go. Are I'll you just, just are you gonna read like, it? Well, yeah, I'll try to read sure, it. Sure, you go for it. Okay, so, okay. Oh. Okay, you ready for this? Yeah. Okay, so I spent 117 moons in a loon. Yeah. Growing to hate We're, my. And a loon, so for everybody at home, oh, sorry. They don't a know loon, that. No, a loon, at, uh, for those at home, that's our homebrew world that our adventure boxes take place in um, and that we're expanding out so that you come from yeah go ahead, go ahead. okay we're good yeah yeah we're good okay, yeah we're good yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. 
uh, growing to hate my celestial heritage. Wait, I have to put on my glasses because I'm getting old. Okay. Um, do you know what it's like to glow, to radiate light most of the time? It's hot, literally sweaty. The glow on my forehead isn't glimmer, it's sweat, it's disgusting, and it's blinding. Do you know what it's like to have birds around you all the time, like chirping at you, singing lovely, lovely bird songs? It's annoying, and they follow me wherever I go. Like, I can't even go pee by myself without a bird staring at me, and I get stage fright. Mm. They're staring at me. So then I'm in the washroom for like way too long and it's super annoying and people are banging at the door and I hate wasting time. And the people, I hate the people. They're always asking me to help them. They're like, Callie, I ate some raw chicken last night. Can you touch my stomach and make me feel better? Oh my God. And Callie, I think my husband is gallivanting with another woman. Can you use your eyes to see through the darkness? <laughs> Oh my God, it's so annoying. I hate people. I hate people. And so, you're on your way to a party <sighs> where you typically wouldn't necessarily find yourself. No. Nope. Um, I hate people. But you find, you, you soon find yourself at the noble woman's table. Okay. And this is a smaller village. Yeah. Central area of the region of Glynn. Mm -hmm. Though you're not quite sure why you've been brought here for such an occasion. As you dine on hot... Hot. Sorry. This is not a good time to end. As you, <laughs> as you dine on hot spicy soup... Yes! ...and tenderly cooked pheasant, you can tell that the Duchess seems out of sorts. A pall comes over the occasion as she voices her concern about a band of wayward travelers camped outside the village. They seemed harmless at first. But Susan has received reports that they have begun harassing townsfolk and other visitors as they come and go, demanding money and wine and threatening to put hexes on anyone who doesn't pay up. Yesterday, the lady ordered several guards to scare away the mysterious visitors, but they couldn't get the job done. When the guards returned, they spoke sympathetically about the visitors. It seemed as if the guards had been magically charmed. Lady Susan doesn't want an armed conflict, but she aims to send a stern message to the visitors and asks you to deliver it on her behalf. Me? Yes. If they don't leave before dawn, she says, I'll burn their wagons to the ground. Would you please send my message and see if you can use your uh, light and whatever. I've, I've, I, I know you've done wonderful things around the village and people keep talking about you helping them and I was just hoping maybe you can use your charismatic aura to po possibly talk them into leaving. Okay. Could you do that for me? Okay. Could you do it tonight after dinner? I mean, don't rush out. I'm just have your drink and your food, and I, I just would you would you do that for like me? Two drinks. Sure. Uh, okay. As many as you like that is required. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Could you? Yes, thank you. Yeah. You'll do that? Okay. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. She touches your hand. Okay. All right. You are a special one. Gifted. It's, it's wonderful. I'm, I'm, we're pleased to have you here. Okay. This is getting weird. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. And she goes okay. back to her food and she... Okay. Um, so the dinner kind of finishes up. Yeah. And what do you do? Oh. Oh, this is where it's going? Yeah. I didn't know yeah. I was now actually... Now you're, you're, you're done dinner. Okay. The party starts to die down. Mm -hmm. People start to leave. Mm -hmm. Can I roll a dice? To do what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is how you play. This is, this is how you play D&D. Now, now you do something that you want to do. You find yourself outside of, the, uh, of her manor. Yeah. Um, you're on the main road from the village. Yeah. Uh, you know that the main kind of village gates area is just north of where you are. Yeah. Uh, or sorry, south of where you are. Yeah. Um, and th she said that the encampment is on the tree line just outside the village. Yeah, she just wants me to get rid of these people. Yeah, she just wants you to go down, deliver her message that, that they need to move on. 
All right, so I gotta walk there. Okay, so you start down the road. Yeah. Um, you kind of walking in. Is it dar it's dark? Yeah, it's dark. It's yeah, after I can dinner. See. It's about nine o'clock. Yeah, I can. Nine p.m. Yeah. Ish, the okay. equivalent of nine p.m. Okay. Um, and as you kind of head down the road, um, you see people who kind of recognize you. You become a bit of a folk hero here. Mm -hmm. Um, it's the glow. Yeah, and, and they've asked you to do num lots of little tasks and, like you said, kind of menial tasks that you do just because. It's nice something person. to do, and you're a nice person at times. Um, you come to the end of the road, and there are guards stationed at each side of the road. Okay. Uh, and they are looking out towards an area, and you see probably about a couple hundred feet off. You see a, an encampment kind of in the middle of the rolling hills, uh, sorry, rolling plains that exist between here and the Great Oak Forest, which is another 200 feet or so from the campsite. Okay. So the campsite is in between you and the in the woods. Yeah. Um, well, what do you do? I walk to it. Okay, so you just start to walk towards it. Yeah. Okay. Um, it's, is it all open? Yes. Yeah, it's just open, open kind of country road. The, the night is, is, it's nice out. It's spring. It's clear? It's clear. It's a clear night. You, okay. see, you see stars. Yeah. And you start to walk down. Yeah. Um, I okay. put on my hood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure not to mess up my hair. Yeah. Put on my hood and okay. I, I'm going. As the evening turns into full evening, the sun sets, you see a dozen men and women, actually more like half a dozen men and women gathered around a crackling bonfire. Yeah. The folk are in good spirits. A few of them sing and dance around the fire while others find happiness in their flasks and wineskins. Mm -hmm. There are three barrel-topped wagons parked at odd angles. Tied to a nearby tree, grazing are half a dozen draft horses wearing bright coats, bangles, and tassels. Mm -hmm. um, what do you do as you approach? One of them kind of peeks up. It looks like an older gentleman. Mm -hmm. Um, all of them are kind of dressed in, like I said, bright colors. Yeah. Um, very gypsy-like. Yeah. Uh, but you've never, you've never seen their 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 kind here before, um, and they look a little out of place. Okay. The region of Glim is a fairly peaceful land for the most part, um, and and they just seem they seem displaced. But they're happy. They're yeah. laughing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're they're having a a, a ball. A hoot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna just like I'm gonna walk up and I'm yeah. gonna be like, "Hey, bitches!" <laughs> Is it? Can I say that? Yeah, okay. sure. Uh, the like gentleman it? laughs. <laughs> it's jolly. Please, please join us. Oh, I like him. Come, <laughs> come have a drink with us, will you? <laughs> yeah, I'm, everybody. I'm, I'm in. All Dude, six I'm of them, in. kind of whatever. Yeah. I'm going. They're all kind of coming around. And yeah. I had a good feeling about these people. Yeah. So he invites you to sit down at the at the fire. Yeah. Do you do so? Yes. Okay. Yes. What brings you to my camp? Are these the people that I need to leave? They need to leave. Give me a uh, insight check. This, this is this is where so it roll gets a confusing. So roll a big twenty. Because there's a lot of yep. dice. And then you're gonna go in here and you're gonna go to skills, mm -hmm. uh, not spells, skills, and then you're gonna look up insight and you're gonna add yeah, that gotcha. to the roll. Oh. I see where we're going yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now it requires math. Uh, 13. Yes, you imagine this is the camp that that the that she oh. asked you to tell Oh to leave. man, and yeah. these people are nice and they have Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's a uh <laughs> <laughs> That was an idea. Yeah, no, we just we just received a um, a donation or wow. a follow. Yeah. Thanks guys. Yeah. Um, oh, well now I feel bad because now I gotta ask these people to leave. Yeah. Okay, well, um, it's fine. Can I just, I'm, can I hang out with them for a little bit and then do whatever we chit chat? Yeah, do let's just have a, yeah, did she, sit she, down. Did she give me a time limit? Him. Oh, did, did, did the lady give me a time limit when they had to leave? No. no. She said by the morning she will burn her wagon. The wagon oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna sit and I'm yeah. gonna have a good time with these people. Okay. Make friends with them. Whoa. Can I get you a drink? Yes. What would you like? We have uh, we have some mule. some wine. Oh. Some good wine. Okay. Very good wine. I'll take that. You want the wine? Sure. Okay. So he takes out a cask, 
pours like a, a, a tankard of wine and gives it to you. Tankard? Yeah. Wow. Just tell me a bit about yourself. What's your name? Do I have to tell him? Mm -hmm. Callie. No, you don't have to tell him. You can tell him whatever you, you want. You, you can do whatever you want. There are no rules. Do whatever you want. I don't want to tell him my name. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, I just want to say, oh no, let's let's talk about why you guys are here and let's just have a good time. We don't need to know each other's names. Okay, I like it. A little bit of mystery. It's yeah. okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. There is something different about you. I see it in your eyes. Is it the glow? Oh, I don't know, but your eyes are a very interesting color, very unique. Thank you. What manner, manner of creature are you? I got it from my mama. From your mom? Your mother has these eyes. They're almost gold. Mm -hmm. That is amazing. Thank you. What are you? Are you human? A bit. A little bit. Mm -hmm. hmm. Very interesting. My half, I'm half and half. Okay. Like half. No, you're you're Asamar, Asamar. Yeah, but it's like you came from human parents, from... but but you you look human, but you're not human. You're you're, oh, okay. you're full Asamar. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. okay. It's almost like a blessing that, that. Oh, gotcha. Almost like a divine kind of intervention sort of thing. Okay. I'd like you to get Brandon, please. Am I done? I know. Yeah. Oh. No, you can stay here. Just grab Brandon. Oh wait, but I gotta get my. Yeah, just put it on the outside of your shirt from now on. Private. <laughs> it's private. Okay, get Brandon. Or, or actually, Tim, now. can you just call Brandon? Brandon. <laughs> okay. You can just stay in your that oh, seat. I until, like this. Yeah, I'm don't ready. send me away. I'm just now. I'm getting into yeah, it. Well, you, what happens? I don't want to go yet. Um. Well, maybe you should. Oh. Yeah, you should. Sorry, leave for a couple minutes. Oh. Sorry, I know this is the way it is until I we're all so together. I was so excited. Yeah, sit over. Just switch with Brando. Mm. Actually, sit over here, Brandon. Yeah, on that side, yeah. All right, well, see you later. I'll see you in a bit. A yeah. Welcome, buddy. This is the third or fourth set of streams we've been a part of together. Put your mic on. Goodness. Yeah. Um, yeah, how many streams has it been? I don't know. It's been lots. All the streams. It's been all the streams. All the streams. So, um, and here we are. Uh, as soon as I switch over here, what I'm supposed to do. It's been about a week since you traded a frail dying shell for a cold steel one. Mm -hmm. Introduce yourself, who you are and who you're playing. All right. Uh, well, uh, I am Brandon Perkins and I am playing Sterling. Sterling Argento, although he doesn't usually give his last name in okay. introductions. Uh, he is a warforged fighter yeah. um, and he uh, was originally a very sick boy. He's yeah. 11 years old at this time. Yeah. And um, his father uh, had <laughs> um, done quite a bit of research on Warforged uh, to be able to see if it was possible to put his son's soul into this body yeah. uh, to be able to save his son's life. Yeah. Um, and he was able to do so, but to do so, uh, is a very dangerous thing. Yeah. Sorry, you're off camera right now. Yeah. Tim, you mind just sw switching the camera there? Mm -hmm. I just don't want to lose all that. <laughs> so, to, so uh, his father uh, uh, died in the process. Yeah. Um, and wow. his father knew it was going to happen and did it anyway. So, wow. All yeah. right. Warforge. So we're playing a Warforge outside of Eberron. Yes, outside of Eberron. And that's very, very exciting. Yes. So uh, the idea is that... Um, Sterling's father was yeah. a dealer of uh, extra Alun relics. So yeah. a lot of different people come from different realms to get yeah. to Alun. Yeah. Yeah. And they bring different things with them. And uh, that's how we got a hold of these things. Awesome. Yeah. Right. Solitude. It's what you've craved thus far. You're not ready for the world to see you like this just yet. You're just getting used to walking again. And this strength, you can run and play and jump again. It's been so long. With no need for food or the usual amenities of common folk, you've just found yourself wandering the Grand Oak Forest in the region of Glynn for several days now. A slight mist has rolled in this evening. What do you do with this newfound freedom? What has the last week been like for you? And why do you travel and wander the forest as you do? I've been um, mourning 
my father, but uh, time has helped to temper it. Yeah. It has only been a week, but um, I'm devoted to being able to uh, live out the last words that he gave to me, which is, um, live your life, the, the life that I gave mine to preserve. Um, leave the world a brighter place than you found it. And never, ever, ever give up. All right. Suddenly, you come to the edge of the forest, and it spills into flat plains. A short distance away, you see, you see a small, quaint village, probably about 400 feet or so away, and what appears to be an encampment a few hundred feet from where you stand, so in between you and that village. It appears that perhaps half a dozen or so people are gathered around a roaring fire there are three barrel-topped wagons that surround the fire, along with horses that are tethered to a tree. What do you do? I watch from afar. Is there a chance that they've seen me? Give me a perception check. It's a 19 before my modifier. Um, with a 19, uh, you know, you believe that you are absolutely um, well hidden okay. uh, at this stage. Mm -hmm. um, and you're confident that you could probably stay hidden for as long as you need to in this, in this circumstance. Okay. Um, but over the slight breeze that kind of blows over these rolling plains. You hear music and you start to kind of um, zero in and you see dancing and this liveliness to this camp. Um, you know that the people of Glen tend to be fairly peaceful. They don't start a lot of trouble, especially in this area, in the central area. Um, there aren't a lot of problems. It's fairly safe for the most part and, and uh, or at least from what you've seen. But this seems displaced somehow. Like it doesn't quite belong. They're dressed very, very colorfully. You've never quite seen these, these type of people dressed like this mm -hmm. uh, here. What do you do? Um, do I get the sense that I'd be able to move closer and still remain hidden? Uh, give me a survival check. Nine. Um... It is open plains, mm. so you're not super confident that if you got any closer that they wouldn't see that you're there. Mm. It would, it, you imagine it would be fairly difficult to... Now, I'm afraid... There's some nervousness there. I'm afraid that okay. they would see me as a monster. Okay. Um, and so I'm, I'm concerned about having them see me at all, uh, but I am... I am curious. Okay. So, I'll remain uh, about as far as I am now. Yeah. But I'm going to try and move kind of a little bit more around to the right of their position. Get okay. A different perspective. Okay. Okay. You start to move around. Uh, can you give me another perception check? Mm -hmm. 17. Okay. With a 17, you see um, that there is an older gentleman that's mm -hmm. sitting by a fire, and he seems to be sitting with another hooded figure. Um, and they're talking, and they're drinking, and they're laughing, and they're carrying on jovially. Yeah. Uh, this, this one individual is dressed kind of in dark clothing. Um, not, does not match. So they're obviously an outsider who has come to this camp to chat or whatever. Right. Um, you see another younger uh, gentleman and a female and then a couple others in the background. You can't really make them out. They're silhouettes at this point. You're still about 200 feet away. So, right. uh, and the, and, the, and the, the campfire is causing, it's having fun with your eyes. So you can see kind of who's in front, mm -hmm. but behind the fire, you just see people dancing in, in a world of movement. Okay. Um, I see people enjoying life in a way that I, I haven't been able to do uh, since I was uh, five years old. Yeah. Um, there's something about it that, that I, I, I want to draw closer to, but at the same time, I don't want to ruin their good time. Yeah. Just by being 
whatever it is I am now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, <laughs> I I don't know if, if this is helping you at all, but I'm continuing mm. to watch from afar. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, Mel. I should probably stop yelling in the mic and just. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll get like a button. Yeah. Come on, see. We've lost this screen here, Tim. Can we tell him? Yeah, maybe just keep letting him know. There it is. No, it's it's there, but it's not. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. Okay, great. Welcome. You put your mic on, please. All right. So you continue to laugh and carry on, and I'd say about twenty minutes or so passes. Okay. Um, do you continue? You talk about life. He asks you questions. Yes. Um, so, uh, you don't want to tell me names. We stayed mysterious. That's yes. okay. Yes. But, uh, what, uh, where are you from? Are you from here? Yes. <laughs> You're from Alun, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, are you, uh, what do you do? Uh, do you have a job? Are you, uh, what brings you to this area? No, I just am exploring. I'm just, hmm. I just want to explore the world. Hmm. Just explore. That's all. That's all. Yes. That's it. Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. Looking yeah. for love in all the wrong places. Oh, oh. interesting. Yeah. Okay. My son, uh, he is taken, but... Uh, no. But it, no? Okay. No, I have standards. Okay. But, uh, okay. Well, uh, um, would you like to dance? I'd love to dance. Yes? I love to dance. Yes? Yes. Well, please. Yes. Uh, yes. You you would like uh, what kind of music do you like? Do you like um, I'm asking. What kind <laughs> of music do you like? You tell me. I thought you were gonna give me choices. No, there is no like, choices. Yeah, I like, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you have? What do you have? Do you have? Federico, what do you know? <laughs> Does, okay, does he only he knows little, this song. Like this is the only song he knows. Just come here. <laughs> so like Just stand up. No, that's all he knows. Come here. Okay. So he, st he stands you up and, he's, and he looks over the sun. Yeah. Um, he says, Ratka, come here, come here, come here. And uh, this handsome kind of tan gentleman, close crop beard. Yeah. He's got kind of a, uh, a head wrap and, and tassels and all this craziness comes over and he says, May I have this dance with you? I thought he was taken. Do you say that to me, or are you saying that to him? You, I'm. I thought you were taken. Uh, there is nothing wrong with dancing. Oh, but you also have like sixteen wives. And um. he, he does one of these, and he <laughs> and he he strikes a pose. He says, "Shall we dance?" Okay. And he takes your hand and I'm he starts in. to whirl you around. I'd yeah. like you to make a performance check to yes. see how well you dance. I'm yes. I'm gonna be a good dancer. This one. We missed it on camera. This is what I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see? Good dancer. Yeah. Uh, 14 wait, wait, plus wait. performance. Okay, wait, I go to skills? No, he skills, yeah. Yeah. See, I'm getting this. Is that 14? I can't see. Yeah, yeah. Four, 16. 16. 19. Oh, yeah, you you, you keep right oh. up. You know exactly what he's doing. Yeah. You're a woman of the world. You're yeah, yeah. good. You, yeah. you, you just keep I know, dancing. And you, I know, like, street yeah, dance, Yeah, yeah. Too. He's just, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they take out the cardboard. You start to do... No, I'm Yeah, I know. No. I know. <laughs> uh, so you're just... Okay, so you, in the woods... Um, you don't know anybody else is around, so you have to. This is when metagaming comes in. Okay. You see that they get up and they start dancing, uh, and her hood falls down as she's dancing, and she's got this short, kind of almost gold hair with a white strip through it, and her skin is for, even from this distance you can see it's flawless, and the and the fire almost glistens off it. Yes. Um, other than that, you can't really see uh, much more other than that. Are you still? Well, what's um, your plan? In in, in my sickness, all I could really do with my time was read. Yeah. Would I have read about something like this before? Give me a history check. That is a natural one. Yes. Um, you have read about dancing. Mm. Right. Uh, you didn't do much. 
<laughs> you didn't dancing do dancing is great. You didn't do much dancing. Yeah. Um at all. Um, and that's pretty much all you know. You don't know what the music is. You, I mean, you yeah. spent most of your time in, in bed, so there isn't a lot of... You, yeah, you didn't read a lot of bo dancing books. It's all kind of new to you. Yeah, yeah everybody, everybody's weird. Um, <sighs> against my better judgment, I'm moving forward a little closer. I want to get a better, better look um, at this glittering person. Okay. Uh, and this, this band of, of strange people. Um, uh, you you were describing them as though a culture that I may not be familiar with. Yes. Okay. So, yeah. yeah so my my curiosity is over overwhelming my common sense. Okay. And I'm moving forward. Okay. Um, as you move forward, uh, are you moving forward openly? Are you? Uh, I'm doing so cautiously, very cautiously. So I probably um, a, a mild sneak. Okay. Do you want to sure. stealth? Yeah. 21, oh, okay, well, it was a 17. It's a 14 now. <laughs> okay. Uh, why? I, well, when I moved it, I... No, it's fine. Okay, it was so 21. Whatever. Yeah, 21. With a 21, you actually, um, because of the lights of the fire and the way that the shadows fall, you actually find yourself being able to kind of move okay. a lot easier than you did before. Okay. Uh, or you thought you might before. Hold on, yeah. I gotta roll with this. Oh. Why is that? Oh. Uh, well, well, I'm wearing <laughs> chain. That's not heavy, is it? Uh, I think it is. I think it's medium, isn't it? Uh, no, I, uh, I'd have to I, I, either way, check. Either way, I rolled higher the second time, okay. so. Still yeah, okay. Maybe way. look that up and see. Um, it's, it's in your sheet. It, yeah, you I'll, see, to be, I'll right? see how heavy yeah. it is. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you continue to dance. Uh, Ratka does his thing. He twirls you. He then dips you, and then he... He says, well, there you go. And he, he kind of does this. I don't know if you remember Dirty Dancing, but when, when he, like, flips her away and then she keeps, like, dancing and yeah. she, like, looks yeah. around and he's yeah. not around yeah. anymore. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. he's gone. I love it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, the older gentleman comes up to you yeah. um, and he says, um, your, uh, your cup is, is empty. Would you like some more? Well, I don't want to get too tipsy. Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. I need my wits about me. Oh, your wits about you. Yes. That's true. Very good. Yes. Very good idea. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering, oh, hello, mm. that is a new uh, follow-up or something. I like it. Um, oh, we are not, the, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have to reset that for some reason. Okay. Um, you are Asamara, are you not? I am. You are. Mm -hmm. I knew this about you, I could see. Can I see your hand, please? And he puts out his hand like this. It's okay, I will not bite. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> He's not. okay. No, I'm just, I'm just joking. That's okay. not funny. And he kind of looks at your, he kind of drags his finger along your hand, and he says, "Hmm, you had loving parents, I see." I did. Yes. Yes. Yes, loving parents, yes, very much. Yep. They miss you, I think. Yes. And you are, you are. I feel like you're looking. For a reason. A uh, reason. Like roaming through the night yes. to find your place in this world. Okay. Um. Yes. Is that true? Uh, no, I don't. I don't know. You've, I'm not, you, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking. Yeah, I'm no? not looking for a reason. No. No, I'm just mm. experiencing what's mm. out there. Is that the right? Yeah. Mm. Why are you putting these things in my head? I don't put nothing in your head. Mm. I am. I am just a yeah. seeing, telling you what like, I see. And you're, you're a little manipulative. No, I. Uh, oh, yeah. That's not very yeah, nice. I. I, 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 I gave you drink. You. Yeah. You dance with my I son. I don't trust people. Oh, that's you. You tr very trusting of us. We gave you drink and you danced and you. You're approaching. You're about fifty feet now from the area. Not close um, enough to hear, though, right? Uh, you are, are getting to the point where you can now hear this. Okay. This. Um, I would be trying to approach from an angle where I'd be hiding behind some of the carriages. And yep. Stuff. Yeah, exactly. You found a kind of an angle that you're coming up. Um, you actually get to the point where uh, you're about 20 feet from one of the one of the wagons. You could get behind it and actually be still. Yeah. Yeah. So I would yeah. I would get behind the wagon, assume okay. that I believe that this isn't like a spot that people would just come walking around randomly. Sure. Right. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. There there must be a reason you came here. No, it was just, it was on my way. Just, it was on just your on way, my way. On your way where? Are you going to the woods? 
Oh, oh, I see where you're going. Who? <laughs> Me? I am not going anywhere. My wagons okay. are staying here. We like it very much. Very why here. did I come see you? I thought you meant like, why did I? Okay, yes. So I, yes, so I was sent to, I was sent to talk to you guys. Ah, we mm -hmm. get to the crux yes. of the situation. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, there is some bad news within our good times. Oh, this, I don't like bad news, but what? Well, the bad comes with the terrible. good. We I mean, take it as we like, go. Yeah. It's the life. And yeah, it's, it's not that bad. Okay. So you have to go. You have to leave. Leaf? Yeah. Why am I going to leave? Because, what's her name? What was it? Lady Anna. Le Lady Susan, sorry. Oh. Lady Susan. Because Lady Susan needs you to go. She has asked you to come. She has. <laughs> Don't worry, we have no wish to make enemies of Lady Susan. Okay. But I have a story to tell you. First you listen, then we go. How long? Because I, I, I'm tired. How long Please, is have story? a seat. Can I have another drink? Of course. Okay. He fills your Thank you. cask, or he fills your cup out of the cask of wine. Yeah. And you can hear this as well. Mm. Stanimir, who was his name? My name is Stanimir. Okay. Fills his mouth with wine, then spits it into the fire. <laughs> The flames turn from orange to green as they dance and sway. A dark shape appears in the bonfire's core. We come from an ancient land whose name is long forgotten. A land of kings. Our enemies forced us from our homes. And now we wander the lost roads. The dark shape in the fire takes the form of a man being knocked from his horse, a spear piercing his side. Stanmere continues. One night... A wounded soldier staggered into our camp and collapsed. We nursed his terrible injury and quenched his thirst with wine. He survived. When we asked him who he was, he wouldn't say. All he wanted was to return home. But we were deep in the land of his enemies. We took him as one of our own and followed him back toward his homeland. His enemies hunted him. They said he was a prince, yet we didn't give him up, even when their assassins fell upon us like wolves. Deep in the bonfire, you see the dark figure standing with sword drawn, fighting off a host of shadowy shapes. This man of royal blood fought to protect us. As we protected him, we bore him safely to his home, and he thanked us. He said, I owe you my life. Stay as long as you wish, leave when you choose. And none of that will always be, and, and know that you will always be safe here. The figure in the dancing fire vanquishes its last final foe, then disperses in a cloud of smoke and embers. Stanmere's face becomes a somber mask. A curse has befallen a noble prince, turning him into a tyrant. We alone have the power to leave his domain. We've traveled far and wide to find heroes such as you to end our dread Lord's curse and put his troubled soul to rest. You are touched by the light. We see it inside you. You are also touched by the light, he says into the darkness. I know you are here, young one. Please, come forward. And so I, I stand at full height and I timidly walk forward, small steps. You see from behind a wagon, a tall, lumbering humanoid, covered in a robe, hood pulled forward. Give me a perception check. Yeah, I want to make sure this guy... Mm -hmm. Oopsies. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not there yet. Um, skills. Perception. Oh, yeah. This is good. 15 plus 4. Um, he moves in naturally, um, almost, there's a slight stutter in the way he moves, and you see a glint of metal under the hood. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell her about your appearance? Um, 
Well, uh, I, I'm about seven feet tall, uh, but other than that, if I'm covered with a robe, you probably won't see too much. You might see, actually, you'd likely see my, my legs and feet below the robe, uh, which are silver and metal. Okay. Um, he says, please, come see it with us. So I come forward, um, and I, I sit down. Um, in, in my head, I, I was already considering coming forward when he was talking about a, a calling and, and maybe helping to save a prince and thinking about how my father had said to leave the world brighter mm. than I found it and, and thinking that this, maybe this is what he meant. Mm. But I just, I'm sitting there just looking, uh, still mm. unsure if I'll be received well. Mm. Come, you are welcome. Please. So I, I sit by the fire and, and I pull down my hood. Yeah. And you notice, uh, both of you notice, that um, uh, the jovialness has died down. Nobody's dancing anymore. Everybody, a couple more have, have kind of joined you at the fire. Um, as you bring your hood down, there's a gasp from one of them. And you see it's a metal head. It's not a human. He... And, and it's almost too form-fitting to be a helmet. Mm -hmm. And he's got these glowing blue orbs mm -hmm. for eyes. Please, tell us your name. I am Sterling. Did you do magic just now? Fire? Yes, I, I do know a little bit of magic. I, I do. Um, do you like magic? You like magic. I can't do any myself. Oh, well, perhaps we can teach you, yes? Yes, I, I would like that very much. Okay, well, will you join us, the two of you, to help us with our prince? I don't know if I trust this guy. Well, you're right here, we have wine, we have music. You ask him questions and then we trust and then we go. I would like to help. If I can, if I can help. Oh, Sterling is in, uh, perhaps what do you say? Can I walk over to him? Am I close to him now? Uh, yeah, you guys are sitting at the, f did you sit down? Yeah, I'm yeah sitting he's sitting at the fire, so he's literally like five feet from you. All right, so I'm gonna go over and just knock on him. <laughs> Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's solid. Yeah. I'm like just going around him, just yeah. like. Yeah. How do you react to that? Um. Well, I, I didn't like the knocking, but I'm not stopping her. I'm just kind of, kind of leaning a little yeah. bit away. Yeah. Uh. And and looking looking away a little sheepishly. Uh, yeah. Please, don't. I am not uh, flesh and bone anymore. It's making me cry a bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's uh, making you cry or it's making Callie cry? We're a one person in this room. Yeah. Melanie okay, and okay, Callie, Callie okay. are of one, of one person. Fair enough. So, so will you help us? Will you help us bring magic to Sterling? Can I do a, like a check to see how much I Insight. trust? Uh, oh my gosh, I need glasses. That's an eight and six. Eight plus six? Yeah. Your insight is six? Yeah. Wow, that's really good. Holy mother. Uh, yeah, you trust him. Okay. Well, and, and there is there is a, a, a unexplainable innocence to okay. him. Okay. That is endearing. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I teared up a bit. Yeah. Will yeah, you come? I felt that in my Will you in come? my heart. Yes. I am yes. Yes. Well then we leave. Okay. Yes? Yes. We will we will leave right now. Okay. For Lady Susan. We Yeah. Okay, it's if uh, several days travel but we Yeah. We will we go. Okay, we go. When he starts to do this, yeah. people start pulling up Packing wagons up. and the untethering horses and it takes about maybe a half hour, 45 minutes until they're ready to, okay. to go. They douse the fire. Yeah. They get in their wagons. 
Um, is there anything else you'd like to do before you start the travel um, that is about to occur? Uh, no. Okay. Please get Adam for me. Am I going? Yep. Okay. All y'all are leaving. All the all y'all. Um, actually, maybe we take a break. It's a good time to take a break. It's eight thirty. Um, let's take a short, quick break. Um, actually, you guys have had breaks. You guys yeah. are good, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I mean, we've kind of had breaks yeah. as we go. Okay. Okay. We're good. Um, yeah. I will. Uh, I will take a break okay. because I need to take a little bit of a of a uh, bio break. Um, why don't um. I do have a couple announcements for the break. I'll tell those first and then we'll go. Um, for those of you that are watching, again, if you enjoy what you're watching, please follow the D&D Twitch as well as uh, Realm Smith's uh, Twitch and Realm Smith's YouTube. Um, we also have a show on Sunday nights called Nolzer's, D&D's Nolzer's Marvelous Tutorials with Realm Smith, where we teach you guys how to paint Nolzer's miniatures by WizKids, uh, and then we use them in the stream. So some of the player miniatures that we haven't seen yet on camera uh, were painted last night um, as part of that stream, and, and we're going to continue to do that. So that's Sunday nights at 5 p.m. Eastern, and then Monday nights we have this stream going forward, and we're very excited to bring this to you guys every single week. Um, apart from that, uh, our Adventure boxes. We have monthly adventure boxes that we um, sell at, at realmsmith.tv. You can check those out. Uh, we have a promo code right now for twenty dollars off your first box, uh, and you can check that out. Basically, what it is is it's D and D five uh, D compatible uh, adventure written by Brandon Perkins and myself. Uh, mostly by him, uh, and uh, we send that to you every uh, single so that it builds a campaign as you go with every every month with everything that you need to run it. So it's got miniatures and a sound set and maps and terrain and all of that kind of stuff in it. So check it out. Twenty dollars off. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm gonna go there. Um, you guys entertain the masses. What? Yeah. What? Yes. What? What? Yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't have uh, the chat up in front of me. Uh, yeah. but I guess oh, I if you guys have questions, bring yes, up the chat. Yes. And if then, you guys yeah. have questions uh, so. uh, on any of the chat, uh, then you can answer some questions, and we'll be right, I'll be right back. All right, so I, I'm gonna be uh, Send Joel. look at the D and D and pizza. Switch Send first. Joel with pizza. Can you, um, Joel. Uh, now here's the problem. Though, once I you don't have pizza. It's the lower one. <laughs> once I bring this up, if anybody has already asked a question, I won't be able to see it until now. All right, so. Uh, now I can see questions if they come up, so feel free to ask. Uh, how many years have y'all played D&D for? Okay, so uh, Mel is brand new. Yeah, yeah you've played I've played one time two, like think, two years ago. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yep. Right, you were on you were on our uh, Sentinels of the Storm stream yep. for one or two episodes. I'm going to say one. One episode. Yes. All right, yes. Uh, Joel, you've been playing for how many years? Uh, I remember Shadow playing my brother when I was 13 or 14, mm -hmm. and then I didn't play until I was like 35 again. Yes. Okay, now, for, for me, Dungeons and Dragons, I've been playing for five or six years D&D, but uh, role-playing in general, like tabletop, communal role-playing games, I've been doing since I was a kid, so I don't even... Like yeah, seven or eight, seven or eight years old, I think. Yeah. Okay, so it's been a long time. So potentially as long as twenty-eight years, if you include that. I'm checking to see if yeah. there's any questions. So yeah, um, uh, no new time. questions uh, that I can see here. Again, if anybody uh, entered a question before I signed into the chat, um, I I can't up. see that. So you can ask that again. Uh, what happened to you guys? Uh oh, well, there's a Secrets. lot of blood and fire yes. and. Uh, <laughs> Anyway, no, it's yeah. sad. Bolts the fire came part out of my is true. Oh. The fire yep. part is true. There was there was fire. I'm quite liking this, like Jay pulling us out of the room, bringing us in, having yeah. the little storyline. Because yeah, we were talking about this a little bit upstairs. Like, um, no matter how hard you try not to meta game, it is impossible. It's impossible. Impossible not to because of just subconscious. Uh, stuff and, and and I I found like I I'm usually very good at trying not to meta game, but it I do find that there are times where um, just subconscious processes in your brain 
will make decisions and determinations based on what you know, regardless of whether your character knows it or not, because you know it. <laughs> yeah, and even yeah. when you think you're not doing it, there's a pretty mm -hmm. good chance you're doing it. <laughs> not to mention instinct, right? Yeah. Your, your instinct might be screaming, don't do it because you know, and you're like, but I don't. Yeah. I'm not supposed to know this. And Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Oh. And, and interestingly welcome. enough, uh, welcome. Uh, interestingly enough, I'm finding as I'm out of the room, yeah. I'm paying much better attention to like, I wonder what's going on. It's just like, it's drawing me into the game more, oh, which yeah. is funny because I'm not even playing. Yeah. It's just that I'm being drawn to like, I wonder what's going on. There's this huge suspense. So oh, yeah. uh, kudos to Jay for making that decision. That's yeah. pretty cool. Am I allowed to be in here right yeah, now? Yeah, jump on oh, in. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing break stuff right now. Yeah, oh, we're boy. just talking about this kind of like pulling us out of the room, bringing us back in. Mm. This is the first time that you, because you didn't do it in our last campaign. No, and, and part of that was just because I thought it would be really like uh, the standing up and the coming back in, and the, I thought it would be really disruptive, but this is working really, really well. Yeah, I think is. it's, Jay just found a really good way to manage it. Right? Yeah, totally. And Let me Okay, everybody get out. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. No! Everybody get out. Take this microphone and just leave it on here. the table. <laughs> just got here. All right. Okay, well, it's nice and Joel just in. saw all my stuff. He wasn't peeking. Yeah, yeah. sure, Joel. Much. Joel doesn't he, he know how only, to read anyway. He so only peeked a bit. <laughs> it's, he only peeked a bit. It's okay. All right, it's true. He's going to tell us what he saw. Uh oh. Right, let's go find you got it, Billy. What? It's all on you. Billy. <laughs> Billy. You can do it. We believe in you. Close the door. Yeah. Don't let the dog in. Okay. No, no. Don't let the dog in. Oh. Oh. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good. Uh, hey, you've been patiently awaiting for the last hour and a half. I'm the last. I left hour. you. I left the best for last. Oh, okay. Um, get my, my yeah, sheet. get you're gonna need that potentially. Um, how you doing, man? Good. Excited. Are you? What excites you the most about the whole Ravenloft deal? Or Curse of Strahd? I keep calling it Ravenloft because that's what it used to be. Uh, oh, oh, another follow. Nice. What excites me most about? Yeah. Curse of Strahd? Yeah. I think the peril, which I might yeah. regret saying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, just like the general, yeah. like this could be your last yeah. session at any moment. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. All right, you ready? Yes. Let's dive back in. You were once a knight of a loon, protector of the light. You trained your whole life for it, dedicated everything to the cause, until they turned their back on you. Now, you find yourself in the fight pits of a loon, a gladiator slave, killing to please the whim of some drunken noble. You'd spent more months than you can count in the place, when one night you and the other gladiators begin to devise a plan of escape, a way to be free once again and clear your name. But to what end? You've begun to lose f your faith in the light. How could you dedicate so much and end up here? Can you please introduce yourself as a player and as your character to that camera there? <laughs> All right. I am Dimitri Maddock. Probably formerly Sir Dimitri. <laughs> it it was. Actually, it's true. Yeah. You're a knight, yeah. Uh, human paladin. And through... Whatever means I was disgraced slash thrown out of my order of a loon and sent to the gladiator pits and uh, sent there to use my talents <laughs> for sport and entertainment. <laughs> yeah. uh, but there's an escape plan going to unfold shortly. Right now, oh, in uh, fact. The night has finally come. The night you and your comrades will see redemption. En masse, you storm the guard fight pit complex, dispatching each guard as they attack, and you find yourself at the main guardhouse. Just inside the gate... Oh, sorry. Main guardhouse, just inside the gate. If there's a key, this is where it will be. As you force open the door, you see a lonely guard that has taken refuge from the battle. With a quivering hand, he raises his sword to you in fear. And he grasps it with his other hand. As he shakes, you see a large iron key on a hook on the back wall. What do you do? All right, 
Look at the guard. Yeah. The key or your life. Give me a persuasion check. Or intimidation, whichever you think you're... It's a uh, bit of both, but... That would be intimidation. I think intimidation. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's refreshing. Oh, I don't want <laughs> elbow on. Okay. Intimidation. Natural 20. Oh! With that, he drops his sword and he rushes past you. Kind of knocks you over a little bit, but rushes right out the door. There you are, key before you, your freedom at hand. What do you do? All right. I walk up. Yep. Take the key. Yep. Uh, turn around and peek out of the guardhouse just to get a sense of what everything looks like. Up there. Yeah, there's a, 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 a group of maybe three or four of your gladiator buddies kind of with their backs to the guardhouse guarding it. A couple of them are fighting off guards as you go. And there's like... You started with about a couple dozen gladiators in this kind of en masse sort of fight for your survival, and there's probably only a dozen or so at your back as you leave the guardhouse and you look back and you see some of your comrades fallen in the streets or in the in the in kind of like the uh, courtyard of the of the gladiator um, complex uh, arena complex. Um, looking back, what do you tell them? Hmm. <laughs> that was good timing. That was. <laughs> Pick up and run, lads. Freedom is at hand. <laughs> Very good. You turn again toward the gate and you reach out with the key toward the lock when suddenly, as I kind of go back to Sirenscape here for a second, oh my gosh, this is a horrible timing. Ah, okay. Suddenly, A mist begins, oh, sorry. Uh, suddenly, a strange mist begins to seep through the gates in front of you. It quickly envelops you as you reach the key towards the lock. The world around you begins to disappear and your comrades start to, to, to wave and try and clear the, the fog as it does. Then just as suddenly, the sound of combat disappears. As the mist begins to disperse, you find yourself face to face with the gate. But wait, it's a different gate. The fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you as you look back. A road that wasn't there before. A forest that didn't exist. A head jutting out from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework. Dew clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars. Tim, if we could get the, uh, the, the image of the uh, gates. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence you now find yourself alone, holding a key out in front of you. What do you do? Where am I? Hello? The sound of your voice is almost muted, muffled. As you look up, you see that there is a thin cloud or almost like a barrier of fog that blots out the sun. So it's daytime, you know it's daytime. It was nighttime when you were trying to escape. It is daytime in this place. And, the, and, the, and the, the, there is a cloud cover that basically um, chews the top of this wall and any trees that attempt to, to reach up in its direction. Hmm. Is it uh, day or night? Uh, it is daytime. Yeah, okay. You think, you, you, it feels like a, cloud, a very cloudy day. Oh, okay. Must be some sort of anti-escape measure. Probably unconscious. But then I'll feel the key. Yeah. The key's real. It's a, it's a heavy iron key. Yeah. Mm. You still have all of your gear. 
some of the things that you picked up as you went through the complex that you gathered that you knew you would need for the travel and the battle ahead? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk up to the new gate. Yeah. And just kind of look through and see how far I can see mm -hmm. through it. Mm -hmm. Is there a mist left? As you approach the gate, mm -hmm. um, it begins to open. All of its own volition. These massive gates. And the sound echoes, but again muffled as it reaches kind of the, the edges of this encompassing mist. I look back down at the key. Because it's something that I've been wanting to yeah. steal for a while. Yeah, sure. But it's useless here. Hmm. Um, I will kind of poke my head through the barrier where the doors used to be and uh, look around mm -hmm. and say, Hello? Who opened this gate? Hello? No answer. What you do see before you is an old road. Black pools of water stand like dark mirrors in and around the muddy roadway. Giant trees loom on both sides of the road, their branches clawing at the mist. Quite foreboding, quiet. No tweeting of birds. The random howl of a wolf in the distance. That's it. Hmm. This is somewhere new. Uh... Give me a perception check. Um, from behind you, you hear something approaching on the road. Footfalls coming from around the bend up behind you. Okay. Um, I'm going to... So I'm through the gate a little now. Yeah. And there's trees on either side of the path. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take cover just inside the tree and wait and listen for whoever's coming, or coming okay. around. Are you attempting to hide? Yes. Give me a stealth check. Stealth is going to be tricky. Because it's my yeah. <laughs> negative one. I noticed that, yeah. Okay, so it'll be 11. 11. Um, okay. You you get in behind. You're attempting to hide as best you can. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to tuck away the key. Yeah. Keep it just in case because I don't expect I'm going to be here very long. Okay. Tim, if you can grab uh, Joel and David, please. David. It's all coming together. <laughs> have been traveling this road you don't know necessarily what direction you haven't tried necessarily even to um, kind of figure out um, uh, what direction is what mm. you've been discussing small chat that sort of thing as you travel you don't even necessarily know how long it's been that you've been traveling uh, Bruno the tavern dog made it into the studio and is <laughs> pattering around on the ground <laughs> while I'm trying to give my oh Bruno sorry Brunsky oh slippers. Bruno yeah yeah he needs little <laughs> yeah little soft slippers he just wants to be part of the action he really does as you guys walk a little further the fog spills out of the forest to swallow up the road behind you 
as you walk and you notice that it's, it's at your back. If you stop, it stays. But as you start to walk, it almost like the fog follows you. Hmm. Ahead, jutting from the impenetrable woods on both sides of the road are high stone buttresses looming gray in the fog. Huge iron gates hang on the stonework and do clings with cold tenacity to the rusted bars that are actually open. Two headless statues of armed guardians flank the gate, their heads now lying among the weeds at their feet. They greet you only with silence. Well, <laughs> this is a... Uh... A castle of some sort. Yes, of course. Uh, something that we did not uh, expect. I have never seen statues with uh, out a head on them. Or, or rather, with a head on the ground like this. It's very scary. Perhaps someone's home. Shall we enter? Should we perhaps um, check the gate? Perhaps the perimeter a little bit? I wouldn't want to go in this place without checking. Very well. Can I uh, can I see if I can tell whether or not this gate's been recently opened or if it's been open for a long time? Hmm. Give me an investigation check. Ooh, uh, 23. Wow. Um, you imagine it was actually just pretty much opened moments ago. Ooh. I will say this. For sure, this gate was very recently opened. And I'm not sure, should we go in or not? Well, it's waiting there, open and inviting. Come, let's go. I stride forward. Okay. Are you sure you want to do this? I'm certain. I will, um... I will simply watch you stride in as foolishly <laughs> from where I am. Can I get your passive perceptions, please? Yes, sir. I should have those. Uh, where passive, is passive, 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 passive. Um, 16. 12. Okay. As you, pa- you pass through, um, and as you pass through, the road uh, before you um, black pools of water stand like dark mirrors in and around the muddy roadway and giant trees continue to loom on both sides branches almost like the, the, the road ahead is the same as the road behind um, pretty much leading through this and I see him um, going through the, and he, the gates he, he goes to the gates as you start to walk you walk a little bit and the, the fog starts to gl- come in behind you and out of the corner of your eye you see a figure kind of tucked in behind one of the trees close to where the gate has just opened. Yeah, you I, have a moment, what do you do? I quickly move to the side of the, the, the path and try to hide within the bushes. Uh, so you are literally like 10 oh. feet, 15 feet from this individual who is, their silhouette is, is the shadowed okay. silhouette is standing beside or kind of behind a tree okay. and it looks like they're trying to hide. Okay, so, so I- you, you, can't, you can't hide in plain sight of somebody oh, else. Of course, they, of they, course. they have seen you. Yeah. Um, Clearly. Where am I in comparison to this? Uh, you're about five feet ahead of him. Oh, you're five, just walking only forward. Five feet ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and unless so you let him go. Your name go, again? I forget. How? Rome. Rome. How, how, sorry. How far ahead have you let him go? Well, yeah. Before you entered. Uh, well, I'm. I wanted to let him stride ahead. Okay, how much? So would, about ten, fifteen feet. You're ten, fifteen feet from him. Okay. okay. So um, I say, is there someone here? And I turn and and uh, set up a stance with both my my hand crossbows. Okay. I would like all of you guys to roll initiative. Nat 20. Oh, Not dear. <laughs> 10. 19. Okay. 20, 10, 19. Um, you are first with a 20. What do you do? Okay, I will... Uh, I'll just, I'll just uh, call them out from the shadows, this person. That's all I'm going to do for... Can I hold my action? What, do you, what, what are you ready? It's a ready action, but what do you, you want to ready? I want to ready my two my two hand crossbows. Okay. And, and kind of... Have them at the ready, pointing yeah. at this particular thing. Yeah. Okay. And then right. call them out. And what do, you, what do you say? Come out from the shadows! <laughs> I know you're back there! Okay, so you, all of a sudden, you turn uh, in the direction that he's he's looking, and now you see a figure um, standing silhouetted against the tree. From your vantage, you have a better vantage than he did. Um, can you give him a bit of your um, 
description of what you look like. Uh, yeah, so I'm six foot two. Yeah. Um, just uh, medium build. I am. You look like me already. <laughs> <laughs> Black hair Cousins, about down to here. <laughs> um, I am wearing armor, chainmail. Are you I, a human? I am a human. Okay. I have uh, a sword on my hip, but nothing in my hands. And. Yeah. Do you have uh, a shield too? Do you have a shield? Yeah, I do have a yeah. shield. On your back? On my back. Okay. Okay, and uh, I suppose you can see me clearly as well. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So. As you turn, you, your your boot scrapes the dirt, mm. and you see him him kind of turn to you. Now he's looking at both of you. Right. He has crossbows drawn. What do you do? Uh, I'm gonna ready a uh, firebolt in my hand, but then I'm gonna call out to him as well. Okay. If he makes a hostile action, I'll release the firebolt. Okay. But I'm gonna call out to him. Reveal yourself. It is your turn, sir. <clears throat> I will slowly stepping out from the wood. I back up carefully, like holding out my hands, a very non-threatening <laughs> like expression. Like a kitty hip, like a <laughs> small kitten. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, um, uh, gentlemen, there's no need for any of this. I am, I'll be honest, a little confused. I was in the middle of an escape, which apparently I was quite successful at, more than I had ever imagined. <laughs> um, as you can see, I have the gate key that was supposed to unlock the gate from where I came from. This is all, do you know where I am? Did any of you bring me here with magic? Your turn. I will. Uh, I'll take my both weapons and I'll. Sh I'll put them in my 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 saddles on my back. Effectively, this is ridiculous. How is it that everyone I meet who is an adventurer has no idea about their adventures? <laughs> it's just, no, I have no no clue. We were, uh, or at least I was, in uh, enveloped by some clouds, and here I am on this path with this strange man with. Uh, how he looks. You see him. It appears the mist. No, you guys are out of in initiative now, so oh, you guys sure. okay, okay. speak, speak no. openly. Right, the yeah, red the light. light, light yeah. Yeah. The red yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it appears the mists took us all. Yes, I do remember the mist. Uh, right before, I was transported. So the same thing happened to both of you. It did. Yes, I uh, I was also in the mist. It keeps following me around uh, from this direction. It does? I was dropped here. Well, as we move forward, it seems that the mist is following behind us. What do you believe happens if we go back into the mist? I think at best we don't test the mist. Clearly something's afoot. Some intelligence is pushing this. I believe we should keep moving forward. Mm. So at this point, all the mist that had followed them is like right up to where we're standing? Well, it's right at the gates now. Interesting. And it's actually now, um, you've noticed, stopped at the gate. Mm. Okay, I'm going to go up to the mist. Mm. I'm just going to like... Then it, it, it disperses and it comes back. Give me a perception check. Uh, that is a 24. Is that an actual 20? No, 19. Oh. Um, as you do this, mm -hmm. you see tendrils of mist, almost like fingers, come back out Ooh. and do this back. Okay, so I retreat. I'm, oh, uh, I would stay away from this. <laughs> okay, yes, I agree. We should probably go in the other direction. <laughs> You're saying the mist is out to get us? Well... <laughs> What I can say for sure is that this is the first time, though I'm a ranger, that I ever seen Miss reach out back at me. <laughs> so I will go. Hmm. Let, let me try something. Can I just pick up a stone and yeah. toss it through? Yeah. Through you, the mist? You're t -t 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 on the other side of the road. I don't know. Did you not see what happened when I did the waving with my hands? Perhaps if you would listen to me when I told you that there's some intelligence driving this mist. How would you know that at this point? 
Well, it's very clear it's been following us. Uh, like Stops mist. when we stop, follows when we follow. Like when mist follows a boat into the port? <laughs> yes. I, I guess so. <laughs> Strange, right? Um, no, f- I do believe so. there's tendrils or something. L- l- let me let me try. I'm just going to swipe my hand through at once. I want to uh, look around to uh, see what else is around us. Is it like a continuing road yeah, past and it's just, the gates? Yeah, it just travels for maybe 50 feet and then veers off to the right. Hmm. Right. Uh, you do the same thing, and it just disperses, and it comes back. Give me a perception check. Natural 20. Um, you swipe like this, and it swipes through, and it's this heavy fog, and it's weird. It's like a, almost like a wall of fog. You swipe like this, and it disperses. You, for a second, almost glimpse what you imagine is a silhouette standing in that mist, and then it comes back. Oh. It's like there's someone in there. Were you followed? I mean, other than the mist. I, I, I don't believe so. It's hard to tell. There's so much mist there. <laughs> it's a mystery. Ah, <laughs> uh, I see what you did. Uh, yes. <clears throat> let me see. You there? I, I saw you. You guys all notice that as, as he yells out into the mist, um, the sound is almost muffled. Like this place muffles, like it uh, even oppresses sound. Gentlemen, I really think we should be going. I do not disagree with this one. Well, where are we going? What what direction are you traveling? Well, we will sir- follow the trail. So certainly we cannot go back into the mist. Well, I I have to get back. I was supposed to unlock for everyone, and and we were supposed to escape the arena. I was... Have you tried this gate? Does the- that key work on this gate? I... I didn't get the chance. As soon as I approached it, it opened by itself. Hmm. Interesting. It must not need a key. Let us pursue the path ahead. All right. I really need to get back. I don't have much time. Something tells me none of us are going back. I start walking forward along the trail. Okay. I really hope that's not true. As you guys continue down the trail, the mist has stopped at the gate, no longer following you. You notice, and you keep looking back every once in a while. Mm. Um, as you travel further, these woods are very, very thick. Um, towering trees whose tops are lost in heavy gray mist block out all but a death gray light in the wood areas on either side of this road. The tree trunks are unnaturally close to one another and the woods have the silence of a forgotten grave, yet exude the feeling of an unvoiced scream. You guys continue forward? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. As you continue forward... Um, I'm gonna follow just a little behind them. Okay, how much? 10 feet. Okay. I'm gonna put myself in front. Okay. All right, you're in the middle? Then I'll take the middle. Okay. You catch the scent, and you guys have all smelled this before, of death in the air. You smell that? Mm. It smells of trap lines. Smells like home. You live on trap lines? (laughs) I look at him, I roll my eyes. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yes, it's, it's death, isn't it? Yes, something like uh, dry blood mixed with iron, mixed with perhaps a little bit of uh, uh, persimmon. Yes, death. I think he nailed it. That was very good. Uh, can I can I look around for uh, what's you know given off this smell? Yeah, give me a survival check. Sure. What is that? That's a deep. <laughs> oh, yeah, that. <laughs> It's not the right one at all. Yeah, it's 12. It's a 12. Um, with a 12, uh, as you kind of sniff around, you notice that there is um, obviously two sides of the road. 
Again, you don't know what direction you're, you're traveling. It's very difficult to tell at this point. You haven't even tried. Uh, but to the right uh, is where you think the smell is emanating from, this area. You kind of go over here and smell. There's nothing really over here. You feel like it's coming from the woods to the right. I will, uh, I'll get down really close to the ground yeah. and start trying to track this particular smell, like, to its source. Okay, give me a survival check. Survival check. Uh, seven. Okay, you guys, you start to kind of go into the woods. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you kind of travel into the woods, again, they're very foreboding, very close together. Um... Even with the seven, the, the smell is quite, quite pungent. Mm. And it's actually quite easy to kind of follow this scent. And you start moving in a direction, and it starts getting stronger and stronger. You wanted to say something, David? It's coming from over there. Should we check it out? I, uh, I can go wrap around, if you'd like, to the other side. Perhaps I can see what it is. Yes, I think it's worth a check. Let's go. So yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and, and try to get to the other side of it so that I can... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The foul scent uh, kind of leads you around, um, and you take a wide kind of berth. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you do, give me a... a uh, what are you trying to do at this point? I'm, tr I'm trying to determine both its source and um, whether or not there's any danger, because we don't know whether or not something was killed recently or not. Okay, investigation. Okay. Uh, an eight. <laughs> Okay. Terrible. You're not um, having a good night. I'm yeah, not. no. Um, <laughs> you're having a hard time. The smell is actually quite so pungent. You're having a hard time pinpointing exactly what the source is, okay. unless you walk towards it. So you're kind of trying to kind of come around. Yeah. Um, but you're having a hard time kind of figuring out exactly where where it is. is you could walk towards it because okay. you know where it is, but yeah. coming around it, yeah. you just don't know what direction would be around it. Okay. If that makes sense. I cannot find it exactly. Uh, we would have to walk towards it directly. Shall we go? Yes, let's let's continue. Yes. Uh, can I just be scanning very closely? Yeah. yeah. As we continue. Give me investigation check. And I would give it advantage because you're all kind of looking together mm -hmm. at this point. Five. Wow. Five? Five and two. Jeez. <coughs> wow. Uh, you guys are we not... We all just, died yeah. first yeah. session. <laughs> you guys are all kind of like looking around. You're kind of making your way through the forest. And all of a sudden, you're upon it. Uh, the smell has led you to a human corpse. Oh, this is not good. Half buried in the underbrush, about 15 feet from the road. How fresh? Um, the young man appears to be a commoner. His muddy clothes are torn and raked with claw marks. Crows have been at the body, which is surrounded by paw prints. Very obvious paw prints in the mud. The man was obviously been dead for several days. He holds a crumpled envelope in one hand. I reach down and grab it. You pull it, and obviously the rigor mortis has started. Mm. You open the envelope, and there is a letter inside. Or his eyes open. Yes, and they're looking that way and they've already started to fog over. I'm going to walk over to him and push down uh, his eyelids to close his eyes and then uh, tell him, enter darkness peacefully. You imagine he's well within the darkness by this point. Mm. It is a strange prayer. Let me read this strange letter. Hmm. It says, healthy of might and valor. I, the burger master, <laughs> I love burgers, of Barovia, send you honor with despair, my adopted daughters, the fair grins, the fair Lina Coriana has, be, has, has been these past nights beaten by a vampire. vampire. For over 400 years, this creature has drained the lifeblood of my people. Now, my dear Lena languishes and is, for, is from an unholy wound caused by this night beast. He has become too powerful to conquer. So I say to you, give us up for dead and encircle this land with the symbols of good. Let holy men call upon their power that the devil may be contained within the, within the walls of weeping Barovia. 
leave our sorrows to our graves, and save the world from this evil fate of ours. There is much wealth entrapped in this community. Return for your reward after we are all departed for a better life. Kolian Indinavich Burgomaster. Did you say Barovia? Yes, it says the Burgomaster of Barovia. Uh, at this point, I sort of want to call upon my inner gifts as, as a shadow sorcerer, mm -hmm. and I want darkness to sort of bubble up, and then okay. I want to mutter to myself, Barovia, we finally made it. What? Do we overhear what he just said? Do you, see, you say it aloud? I say it low, so I, I, yeah. I guess it would be up to you, but uh, they do notice darkness starting to congregate around me before disappearing. Yeah, it's it, almost like it coalesces. Like the light, like it blocks out whatever whatever light is left here, as as he mutters something under his breath. Uh, give me a uh, perception check to see if you hear it. Uh, Twelve. Twenty-one. 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 Um, Twenty-one. You absolutely hear it. Twelve. You heard him mutter something, but you weren't quite sure what. Mm. Wait. So you do know where we are? I've heard tales of a land taken by the mists. An ancient land, a land of darkness. Taken by the mist, the same way we were taken. Yes. Shall we continue? You, what? There's something in that letter about the danger and vampires. I wanna, I wanna search the uh, the man's body to see if there's anything of use. Okay. Um, I Any will. I will roll up this letter and put it with my other letter that I collected. Okay. That's 15. Uh, no. Okay. It's been maybe picked over, maybe he didn't have anything on him, but there doesn't seem to be anything of, of note. Let's continue on, gentlemen. You hear a howl in the distance, closer than the other howls have been up to this point. That does not sound... Uh, like a howl I have heard before. I fear we will have company soon. Let's move quickly. Mm, I agree. What do we do with this poor man's dead body? Leave him to the darkness. And I stride off, following the road. We cannot leave him just lying here in the dark. Right now, I think there's more pressing matters. I would agree with you, but I don't think we're safe. Okay, I hear a noise. We should run. <laughs> and I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, uh... uh I try, my friend, and I will I'll keep moving. Okay. So you guys turn around, head back to the road. So only about 15 feet till you hit the road. Uh, immediately when you hit, hit, hit the road, you hear the sound of what sounds like wagon wheels. Tim, can we get the other two back in here, please? As of two. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, we hear wagon wheels? Up. Yeah, on the road. And as you come to the road, it, it bends to the left, so you can't quite see what's coming, but you hear, like... Right. Uh, are, is, are, are horses pulling this thing? Or are they is just... Yeah, you hear... Okay, okay. Yeah, you hear, you hear the sound of a wagon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it's uh, coming from the direction we were heading in. Yeah. No, from the direction you came. Okay. I pull, I pull to the side of the path to like wait for the wagon. Did you hear the wagon? I will go to the side. Yes, I did. Let's, let's see who it is. Right. Back, back in. Okay, you guys are attempting to hide? Yeah. Try okay, to hide. Can you guys give me a stealth check, please? Uh, hey, 23. Uh, okay. Seven. Okay. Eight. Eight. Wow, you guys. Okay, so you dip right in and you disappear. And he almost disappears from, from you don't even know where Felfer went. Um, you guys kind of turn around and you're kind of bumping to each other and you, you're, you're kind of trying to find a way. You kind of think you've done a good job of hiding behind a tree. Um, you guys are in the caravan. There are two wagons um, that are traveling along this road. You've been traveling for some time and the fog is very thick here. Um... You slept for a short while, and when you woke up, there was this really heavy, almost like a uh, like a curtain of fog, or blanket of fog over the entirety of 
the road that you've been leading. And you've been traveling this road for maybe two hours at this point. Um, and on either side, there are trees that clutch at the sky and disappear into the fog. And there is a very thin kind of road, maybe 10 feet across, that have black kind of muddy pools on either side. Um, you get to a certain point, you start to come around a bend, and you smell a pungent, pungent smell. Um, I'd like you guys to make um, survival checks, please. So give me nature, nature check. Nature? Yeah. Eighteen. Eighteen. Nature. <coughs> oh, uh, plus minus one. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Um, you smell this, and you think it smell. It, it's 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 putrid. Mm. Uh, you smell the smell of death. Um, and immediately, um, you guys are in one wagon. The family is in the other. Um, one of the gypsies uh, is, and you've learned now that they're called Vistani. They call themselves the Vistani. And one of them is leading your wagon. You two are in it. The other wagon behind you is um, with the family, and the son is is leading that wagon. Can I attempt to, to identify the kinds of wagons? Yeah, give me a um, investigation check. Okay, I got uh, yeah, nineteen. Nineteen. Um, you've never seen these wagons before. But the gentleman that is driving the, the back wagon or leading the back wagon is dressed in very similar colors and very similar style as the gentleman you met in the tavern oh. earlier that day. Hmm. While you guys deliberate what you're doing. So I'm in the wagon with... Uh, with Callie. With Callie. Okay. And you've learned now her name is Callie. Okay. I smell death on the air. Well, that's gross. <laughs> I don't have enough foul. Mm. Uh, uh, has, the, has the wagon stopped? Yeah, so the wagon stops. Okay. Well. And um, you hear muttering uh, in a language you don't understand. Yeah. Currently. Why have we stopped? Well, you take a peek out there, robot. <laughs> robot? So. <laughs> There are you probably don't know what robots are, but oh. but, but yeah. Steel man. But yeah, steel man. That's steel better. Man. Yeah, yeah, that's good. It's pronounced Sterling. Okay. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever works that's for you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's pretty Never. good. I, I look, I look out out the window beyond whatever curtains we have on these yep. these windows. Um, it's dark outside. Uh, yes. Uh, it well, not dark. It's still yeah. gray. You imagine it's maybe mid morning. Um, um, which is strange because it yeah. feels like it's been morning, like it, it, it feels like it's been daytime for longer than it should have been daytime Interesting. during this last day of travel for you guys. Interesting. Not for you guys. Uh, in looking out the window, uh, is there a chance I might see anything? Um, give me a perception check or investigation check. Twelve. Um, with a twelve, uh, you see the woods are very closely packed here. As you peer out the window, you smell that smell of death very, very, very strongly. That's not going to work. It, that smell is very strong. It is getting stronger, maybe. The closer I get to the window, nice it is coming from outside. Yeah, if you're going to throw up, you're going to have to face the other way. I, I can't Oh, throw up. thank goodness. No. Ugh. Not good with vomit. Um, I never enjoyed it. No. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to attempt to attempt <clears throat> to stealthily get underneath the wagon and wait if it stopped. Okay. Can you guys place? But why? Can, can you place your? <laughs> this is uh, this is the wagon that you guys are in. The other yeah. wagon is ahead. Okay. Can you guys place uh, your miniatures, these guys, oh. where you guys are currently are in the in the environment? Uh, well, we were stumbling upon each other, so we're probably right beside each other. Yeah, and we're, I guess, on the same side as... as <coughs> Fafar. Far. So... Fafar? Over here, maybe. Well, put me next to... <coughs> Absolutely. I just relaxed. Okay, can you give me a stealth check? Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, hey, look at that. Yeah. 24. 
Um, you managed to get under the wagon. And it is the back wagon. Do either of us notice him doing this? Um, no, not with your passive perception. No. Oh. Is that the wagon we're inside? Hmm? Is that the this is the wagon you were inside. Would we have heard anything when he did that? Um, <coughs> heard what? Exactly. All right. Exactly. Sorry. Mom. Yeah. Or what? Well, if somebody went under the wagon, we might have heard a. You, you rolled a what? Uh, 24. Yeah, you don't hear anything. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no idea. Um, you all hear a distant howl. I love animals. And it's, and, and another one responds. And these um, sound just closer, can slightly I, closer. Can I hear from then. underneath the wagon what she just said? So now like you can I'm, hear. I'm you, like right under the wagon. Yeah, give me a perception check on that. And you all, you can hear talking inside. You can all hear talking from around the wagon. And two of the Vistani 21. step out of, one steps off the top, and an older gentleman steps out of the wagon in front. In the interim, I'm going to look over at him. Where did the little man go? I don't know. As soon as we went back into the trees, it was shh. Be quiet. Man, be quiet. You hear slight muttering coming from the woods, in this direction. There are voices coming from the woods. Do you hear that? The smell is very pungent. No. I do. I want to. I'm gonna get out. Gonna get out. I want to get out. Okay. You get out of the wagon. Yeah. You can put your. Which side do you get out on? The back. Okay. The, uh, back. the back, there yeah. is, is there a door in the back? It looks like there's there? a door there. Hang on. Yeah, I don't want to get out the front. I want to Yeah, there's a door in the back. back. And yeah, there's a door in the back. That's where you get out from. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you see uh, booted feet step boom, out of the back of the wagon. I'm careful um, to maintain a stealth my check very, to see if, oh, darn. See, to, to <laughs> I was going to say, I'm careful to, to maintain, maintain your hide. My great stealth check that yeah, I just to did. Maintain your hide. Yeah. Uh, not 20. Wow. Okay. Uh, you step down. Um, we never saw him again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you give? Can you guys give me stealth checks to, to manage your? Hiding abilities right now. Twelve. Okay. Twenty-one. Give me a perception check. Crit. I don't know what that means. Natural twenty. <laughs> and what did you get? Uh. 21. And with, with your bonus, what is yours? What, what, what word Perception? did you say? Uh, four. Okay, so 24. Okay. So you look over, and immediately you see a uh, lar- tall um, gentleman, mm-hmm. uh, quite good looking, black, flowing hair, mm-hmm. um, kind of shoulder length. He's got a sword at his side, mm-hmm. a shield on his back, and he's wearing chain mail, and he's trying to hide behind a really thin pine tree, oh. and it's not quite working. <laughs> right. Um, then immediately... To, a short time, like moment after, you look and you see that there's another uh, figure, but you can't make out any of his features. You only see a silhouette standing at his side. Beside each other. Yeah. Okay. So you know there's two people there, but you see one very clearly, and the other one is actually hidden quite well. But you caught him because you saw the first one. Okay. You think. Right. So I laugh because he looks ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> and so then I want to like um, do it that to s- to insight or whatever. To yeah. See yeah. If You're trying to get. Yeah, yeah, okay. Just so, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. 19 and what? Insight? Yeah. Six? So 25. 25? Um, what? You get, what? The <laughs> you get the sense that they are trying to hide from you mm-hmm. just as much as, like, they're, it doesn't look like they're trying to sneak up on you. Okay. They're actually trying like to. Not to, bad people. You don't know that. Unless they uh, are. Well, okay. <laughs> so, so you see one. This guy's kind of like, what's going on? Yeah, I like. Kind of dopey, whatever, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and kind of face like, a, right? Um, so you, you don't get a sense of of them trying to attack you or ambush you along the road at all. Okay. I, I want to walk over to them. Okay. Uh, you see a female. Do you have your hood up or anything? I have my hood on, yeah. Okay, you, so you see a female figure, her hood is up, and she starts to, to, to waltz towards you. She's wearing darker um, tones, um, and you just see a, kind of a Caucasian chin under a hood that is pulled over, and a sword at her side. 
Um, uh, sorry, uh, daggers at her. Yeah. As uh, as I see her walking over, I want to. Uh, How far do you go? Uh, no. Whispered my companion, "Get ready." How do I know how far mm. I go? You can move go. 30 feet in, in an action, so you can decide yeah. how many, and each square is at 5 feet, so you can decide how far you how go. How far are they away, though? They're about 30 feet away, actually. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's 25 feet away. Okay, well, I want to, like, go up, like, an arm's reach. Okay. I want to be safe, safely away. I don't so she be, starts like, to stroll towards like, you. I'm going to allow you guys to... Can I uh, just see if I determine if she means Give me an insight check. Sort of, yep. Yeah, any sort of attack, yeah. right? Okay. So thirteen. Um, she looks like she's just walking over to you. You don't get the sense she doesn't have any weapons drawn. She just seems like she's openly waltzing in your direction. I'm gonna prepare a uh, spell in my hand and and let uh, you know force and energy start to gather on my palm. Okay. What spell are you preparing? Uh, Eldritch Blast. Okay. Um, you guys start to hear those same howls again, and they're becoming more and more apparent. Is he... Like, you were looking out the window. He I was. I was, yeah. Yeah. Um, Can I attempt... Yeah. Go ahead. Is the door still open on the back when she came out? Yeah, she didn't say she closed it. Okay, so I'm going to attempt to climb in stealthily. Into okay, so you bar. start to climb... I'm going to allow you to continue oh, to no. use it. You, <laughs> so you kind of poke your head up, mm -hmm. and as you look inside, you see... And which direction are you looking out? Uh, well, I'm looking, well, since she went out, I'm looking out that way. The like out the door. The door is still open. So as you kind of so come I'm, across I'm in, here. I'm at the doorway. Yeah. Uh, um, you see, if you want to explain, yeah, a you, figure standing yeah. in the doorway right here. Uh, large, um, about seven feet tall. Um, metal plate, the, the head is, is very much like metal plate. You can see chain mail armor built into the metal. And um, lo it looks like leather leathery sinew in between each of the plates. Like I, a walking uh, suit of armor. I, uh, imme immediately fear grips me. <laughs> Give me a perception check. Uh, 19. Okay. With a 19, um, the, the figure, um, is so slight, yeah. uh, and form-fitting that this can't possibly be a, 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 a suit of armor. Okay. Like, it just doesn't fit like a suit of armor would. Yeah. And with his current stealth, I, I don't see him, right? No. Okay. I'm I'm really watching after her anyway, so I'm probably distracted. Yeah. Just to see what's going on yeah. with uh, my new friend. So at this point, I'm torn between going into the wagon because there are wolves outside who are going to k kill me, or or dying from me going into the wagon with this giant monster inside of the wagon. Yeah. Um, so I'm the old the older gentleman in the front says, uh, "We need to go." Everybody in the wagons. We can go I, now. Can I, inside the wagon, can I, uh, like, let's, I want to look into the wagon. I want to see if there's anywhere I can hide that he can't perceive me, like, going to. I like, mean, is there I'm benches I can crawl into? The, is there somewhere He's standing can, in the door. You can doorway? absolutely try, is the <laughs> answer I'm going to give you. <laughs> if but you would like to do a, he is standing he in totally the doorway. <laughs> I'm trying to get away. Um, so I'm going to... Sometimes getting away means going inside. Brandon, um, I'd like you to make a perception check, please. I'm going to attempt to stealthily move like behind him and around him and into the wagon. <laughs> Give me a roll. With disadvantage, because he's standing in the doorway. Uh, okay, with disadvantage? Okay, it can't be any... Worse than that. So yeah, yeah, I rolled a, I rolled an eleven. <laughs> no, I rolled a nine. Sorry. A nine. nine with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Okay. My perception is eighteen. Yeah. What's your passive perception? Passive perception. I, I wanted, your, I wanted your perception and your passive perception. Yeah. Okay. Um, my passive perception is a fourteen. The perception I rolled is eighteen. Okay. Um, you see, a little slight, three foot tall, childlike. A creature with a goatee and mustaches that uh, curl up like that, uh, and wild, wild curly hair, and he literally like is looking at you and pretending <laughs> and trying to go through <laughs> your legs <coughs> and and slink, could slink into the wagon. Would uh, I know what he is? Uh, give me a nature check. Nature seven. Probably not. 
Okay. Uh, he looks like a child with facial hair. I'm, I'm a little surprised to look down and see a hairy child. With <laughs> sorry, um, he he took your attention mm -hmm. off a hulking creature that is coming from this direction. I saw it. That you see. I saw him. Yeah, he, it pops out of the woods and it goes back in. Come in quickly, hairy child. <laughs> a beast follows us on the road. Callie, you should come back. I it, would like. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say it speaks. Like that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it speaks. <laughs> um, and and I I just like I have to go in now. So you just go? Yeah, I'm just gonna be like, oh, oh okay, and I go in. Beasts are coming, Callie. Please be fast. You hear him say this. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah, it's any. You just oh, free, you just go? free turn. Yeah. Oh, is that how it works? Yeah, Not right like now. This? Yeah, like, currently, right now. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. Well, I uh, just want to. I want. I want to talk to these guys just to see if they need to come. Yeah. Uh, so as she's approaching me, I'm preparing yeah. to yeah. let loose a blast. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. so she gets within a foot of you. You now see him clearly. You see that there is dark yeah. energy starting to kind of coalesce what around him. Yeah. No, All right. I. I don't think that will be necessary. Where? Uh, we're a little lost here. There are three of us at one point. One of us was small, and now I don't know where he went. <laughs> but uh, we are very much aware of the danger that we are noticing, and it's getting louder. And this is not a good place to be. Okay, well, tell your buddy to drop his hand. I, I, what did I say? All right, I, uh, I snuff out the magic, and I put my hand down. Okay. You hear the... the, the the Vistani get into the wagon ahead of you and it starts to go off. Um, My wagon? No, the wagon in front. Oh. And the Vistani who is driving, or who is driving? Who is leading your wagon. Um, he says, get inside. We need to go. Yeah. We go now or we go without you. Yeah. And he actually starts, he goes, yeah. And yeah. it starts to, yeah, 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 yeah. Start to, it starts to move. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you are currently inside the wagon. Yeah, I'm inside. Um, you, oh, sorry. Uh, you um, are also in the wagon. Yeah. These guys are gone. It starts to move. Um, I need everyone to roll initiative. Oh. What's the red? What's the red? That's initiative. <laughs> <laughs> What's the oh. danger, Will Robinson? Oh, danger. my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Matt. Twenty. Wow. Same which is which is which is which is what I, I did for you? Oh, uh, uh, it, is it is plus my yeah. Plus it just means we win. Okay, okay so uh, twenty to twenty-five. What do I what do I which add this number 20, to? 20, 20 Are these two. properly balanced? That rolled everything <laughs> under ten before the game, so I'm happy. Uh, <laughs> so twenty-three. What it, what what do I add it to? This number to what? Yeah, the so initiative you go from back to your main screen. cage. It's if, actually if, on it's at the top. If you pull it, it is at the top. Sorry. I rolled a 22. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay. hang on a sec, sorry. Just pull down right yeah. there. Oh, okay. Plus three. 20. Um. Oh, it is right there. Okay, okay. I'm getting this. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Okay, so 20 to 25. 20. 22, 23. Woo! Jeez. Yeah, we both rolled natural 20s, <laughs> Joel and I. Okay, uh, 15 to 20. Ten to fifteen. <laughs> What's going on? I got on? a ten. <laughs> yes. You didn't want to say that out loud. <laughs> What'd you get? Five. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Ron and uh, and you have nice that. flowing hair. Okay. Yes. Mm. So. Uh, plus. Oh, great <laughs> Falfer, you are first. Okay. Um, um, you are in a wagon. Yep. The door is still open. Yep. Um. You are kind of standing, you've tried and turned around and you're sitting kind of under his legs okay. as he kind of stands at the doorway and he's yelling out to Callie, what do you do? Okay, so um, I, uh, I'm i going to pull out my two hand crossbows and I'll position myself. Is there a window in this wagon? Are there windows? Uh, well, yes, lots so of on, uh, lots of windows along the sides. Uh, there, are, The door, back door is open, so it's Kay. completely, you see um, it cleared down the road. So I will like get into a prone but aiming position okay. with my... So you're, sta you're with both? Yep. Okay, so you're lying, lying on the ground. Lying on the ground. With the doors ready, open. With like the doors open. Between my legs? Yes. 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 Wow. Yeah. Yes. Fancy. That's good. 
Okay. Right. And what are you doing? Um, I'm. Do I see anything attacking? Uh, no, you know, not right now. There is a clear road. I, uh, I, you hear yells and I all kinds of things. I hold my attack. Actually, what is all this? I just moved. Here? I just moved them because they were all in the uh, wagon. No. Uh, no, no, they're not all in the wagon. He's here still. Oh. He's here still. Okay. She's still here. Is she? And they're in the wagon. Okay. Okay. Um, and he, the the wagon is moving mm. at wagon pace, uh, and you are yes. in the wagon. Right. <laughs> All right. Um, Sterling. Okay. Um, I, I look down and, and see uh, this strange little person uh, with these two crossbows and, and kind of look out and think, okay, well, I, maybe he knows what he's doing. So I take my crossbow out and I point it in the same direction. Yeah. So I'm not entirely sure what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. But I, 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 I assume that I'll have to shoot it at some point because I know what they're for. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I yell, <laughs> Callie, the wagon is moving. I'm running back. I'm like, you guys are. On so a, you turn yeah, and, you, like, and you leave. Be, yeah. Okay. You She's leaving take your attack. You're there and you figure it out how to get to the wagon. Uh, you I'm can. Out. Are you reacting to her leaving your space? Uh, no. Okay. So <laughs> she turns and she bolts. What's your yeah. speed? Uh, it'll say at the top do of I your do this? screen. No. Oh, the top my of your screen. speed is 30. 30? Yep. So you go 5, 10, 15, 20. And you make it to the back of the wagon. Yes, um, I do. You're not in it yet, but oh. you are. Oh, hi guys! Thank you. Uh, but it turns it off every time, so we have to have to turn it back on. Oh, but it's not red. Um, yeah, I'll fix it. Uh, it's not red. It's supposed to be that. Red. Okay. Yeah, they have more power than uh, they to do. <laughs> so you you kind of you make, get Stop to it. You're only able to get to it. You're not able to get on. You you have your hands on the wagon, yeah. but you're not able to get on top. Okay. Especially because there is a, uh, a creature people. guy a guy here yeah. aimed. There's a guy on the ground yeah. covering. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. And you see, and as she's kind of running up, um, her hood falls backwards, um, and you see she's got uh, 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 Felfer. Uh, you see that she's got uh, kind of golden hair, almost a rose gold hair, mm. with a white streak through it, and her skin is uh, lustrous. It's mm -hmm. almost perfect. Glitters slightly. Um, her eyes are rose gold, and this is a very unnatural human, almost perfect uh, features hmm. wise. Uh, and she grabs the back of the wagon. Um, so we're like face to face. And you guys are face to face. You are a little, little person. You are so, um, clean? Yes, <laughs> yes, and you are not. I Can I get um, on the wagon? You, by yet. all means. Next. All of a sudden, out from the woods bursts these massive wolf-like beasts. I fire two bolts. Hang okay. <laughs> on, okay, one second. <laughs> Don't uh, finish that sentence. We're not, <laughs> we're paused in time here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> you fire your bolt, I'll fire mine. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at their speed. Somebody oh, wow. save my butt. All of a sudden, Dang. bursts right out of the out of the woods, and starts a beeline towards the, the, the side. You guys see one burst out of here, moves five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and is on you. Uh, another one bursts from this side. And it goes 5, 10, 15, 20 to here. So, charging the wagon. <coughs> I notice this. I want to look over at, at yeah. Dimitri and say, Was it something we said? <laughs> I'm not doing this. And as you, as you hear that, you hear, go, 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 go. And almost like this massive wolf um, uh, uh, closing in on you. Um, and I should have like battle music happening right now. So, just yeah. give me a minute here. Um, I just laugh a little and go, <laughs> Monsters! <laughs> uh, all right, so uh, that wolf there is going to attack you, Dimitri. That is a uh, 21. It's going to hit. Um, oh, oof, ouch. Uh, that is <laughs> six points of damage. Okay. Uh, as it comes and it, it digs its claws right into your arm area uh, and, and starts to pierce your chainmail as you start to scream and you feel uh, your, your skin ripping under, under its uh, claws. Um, what, um, I'd like you to make a strength saving throw, please. Okay. 
Do people like just chime in? Is this a word? No, now it's your turn. Now now there's turns because we're oh. in initiative. So when oh, your initiative okay. number comes up, I'll tell you when it's your turn oh, to go. Okay, okay. 22. 22. Um, with a 22, you manage to stay as it starts to pull you like this and it's trying to knock you prone, but you manage to, to strengthen out of it and stay standing. Uh, it, it, oh, I just lost my, um, the Vistani on the top goes, yeah, and, and, and hits his reins, it cracks the, the reins, and the, the one just starts to fly, and this one continues to go. I'd like you to make it a strength saving throw to try and hold on to the wagon. So what do I, um, where do I go? Strength? Uh, st saving throw, though. So yeah, it's on yeah. your first, no, no, it's oh. not strength check. Oh, sorry. It's uh, go to your main page, yeah. where your abilities are. Yeah. Yep, that one. At the bottom there. Yeah. There. Yeah. Uh, so it's minus two, so it's 14. Uh, okay, with a 14, you manage to hold on to it, and you are now running behind the wagon yeah. as it's starting to kind of take off Yes. in this So direction. we're literally like face to face. Yes, yes. Yeah, and, she's like, yes. and she's on a treadmill. I'm, I'm, yes. So I, I position my two things around her face. Yes. Like, yeah. I cannot see! Yeah. Yes. Uh, you, you are, Ron, you're you are up. a funny We have our held actions. Uh, Can we do Oh, yeah, yeah. So you guys had held, held actions. Yeah. I'm oh, going to yes. allow you to do that before that happened. I apologize. No worries. You fire at, at fire this one. At okay, go ahead. Of the, of the so diary. you get two shots, but you only get your bonus on one of them because you don't have your archetype to, to right? Correct. You have two weapon fighting, but you don't have. That's correct. Okay, so so do your first attack, okay. which is what, what's your plus on the first one? Um, it is plus two. Nope. No. No, nope, it's not. Uh, let me just find actions, it. actions, actions, actions. Goes with plus five. Plus five, and so the other one will be plus three. Okay. Uh, so that's a fifteen. Okay. Uh, fifteen is a hit. Okay. And the next one is a nat 20. Whoa! Okay. Hello. So, first one is a hit. I'd like you to roll damage for the first one. Okay. Mm, six plus three. Uh, so that's a seven. And, uh, s yeah, seven. Seven points one. of damage? Yeah. Okay. Um, and then the second one, uh, how did we do damage again? Uh, okay. Crits? Crits. Full, so full, full damage, and then and then add roll the second roll one. Too. Yeah. Okay. So, what's your full damage for a, for a di what's your what's your damage on that? So D so D six. Six. So six plus okay. three is nine. Six. And then roll, and then roll your second roll. So you get full damage on the first die, okay. and then you add and you roll your second one. Oh, roll okay. Six for the crit. Um. So plus two. So six, seven, eight, nine, yep. ten, eleven. That's right. Eleven points of damage. Yep. Wow. Very nice. Um, you let two bolts go. The first one catches it in its shoulder, and it st staggers a little bit. And as it starts coming, the second one catches it in the cheek, and it comes out the other cheek, and it continues to bear down on you okay. as it takes two bolts. Got him! All right. Good job, little so, man. Um, as I see this, and I start to take aim, yeah. uh, suddenly the, I guess, programming within this body yeah. starts to kick in. Nice. And um, the aim, just it, it's it's like the body is starting to take over yeah. the combat. Yeah. Uh, so, let's see if I actually hit. Um, 12 to hit? Uh, is not a hit. Okay. So. He goes <laughs> wide. All right. And clatters against the road past it. All right. Uh, um, it Roan, you're up. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah, it's got a bolt through its face. Right. Um, what's the speed the wagon's moving at? Um, it's moving about th uh, right now. It's starting to gain speed, so it moved about thirty feet in its in its first right. turn. Uh, so I'm going to uh, start running while avoiding getting right within his range. Okay, so yeah, so. you can't run past it or it'll get an attack of opportunity on Is you. Is there no way to get co closer to the tree or? Uh, you, could, you, uh, you could hug this tree. So you can go 5, 10, 15, 20. How, do you, how far do you want to go? Are uh, you dashing? I, I want, Jeez. no, I wanted to uh, run my 30 feet uh, and then while I'm running, yeah. I want to uh, use magic missiles. I'll notice these other ones coming in. Okay, so that's how far you get. Yeah. And, and gonna, who are you magic missling? I'm going to turn around uh, and in an attempt to help uh, Dimitri. I'm going to use magic missiles. Okay. Uh, to uh, shoot at the uh, beast. Okay, so you turn around and you sling your hand like this, and two colorful darts uh, explode from your hand. Three. And three. Sorry. And uh, and head towards which one? Sorry. 
uh, that the, one right okay. there yep. to help. Uh, it's yep. force damage to help yep. push it off in a cool. minute. Cool. And they auto hit. So I will do five, eight, uh, eleven points of force damage. Nice. Eleven in all. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they hit the, the dire wolf in the side as, as it goes still alive, still standing and you feel the force of these, every force kind of hits you and it lets go of, of your arm um, and you're able to, to get your arm free um, who is next? Dimitri, you're next okay, so my arm is free but I'm still right next to it Yeah. okay um then I will disengage and run. Okay, you use a disengage action and you're gonna run. You're taking this distraction to run to the, the wagon? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I'll go as far as I can to get uh, well, all the way to the wagon. There, 5, right? 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm caught up with the wagon. You've taken the disengage action, you've ran, so you're, you're done. You've moved and you've disengaged. Yeah. So you're done. Okay, uh, Falfer. Um, so we're moving pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay, so I see them and I, and I say, Get in, my friends! And uh, and I... Did I... Do I reload? Is that an action? Uh, I don't recall. A crossbow? A I, crossbow. I think it's a free action free to reload action. a crossbow. Okay, so I'll reload. Pretty sure. And then... I think it's full action. Attempt. Two? This time... This time, I will... We'll say it's free action for now. I'm assuming check. he's in he's in view and he's in view still. Yeah. So I'll do a split shot. Okay. One to one and one okay. to the other. Okay. And attempt to get them both. Okay. Sniper. Um, if you're if you're letting both go, I'm gonna have that disadvantage. If you go one at each, then it's fine. I'm going one at a time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, that is an eight. Okay. And the next is a six. <laughs> Wagons moving fast. Yeah. There's people in your way. You're trying to fire, and you're just having a very difficult time doing it. All right. Fair okay. Um, okay would you like to move at all? Uh, I know I'm gonna. This is a good vantage point. Obviously. Okay, Sterling. Okay. Um, I see Callie holding on, right? So I'm gonna bend down and grab her hand and help her out. Strength check. Yes. Um, <clears throat> With advantage, because she's probably helping you. Sixteen. Okay, 16, with both of your help, you're able to help her up. Um, and you back into the wagon, and she you step basically over. Uh, I'd like you to make a dexterity save to make sure that you don't step on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, 10, and then 3. Yeah, 13. Yeah, sorry, 13. Okay, so you, you okay, manage to kind of... And then over him. Yeah. That's my you guys are in the wagon. Pull her in. Yeah. I'm in. I'm in yeah. the wagon. Yeah, okay, okay. good. Yeah. Callie, you're up. Okay, so uh, thanks, Tin Man, for helping me out. Appreciate you pulling me in. You're welcome. You have six seconds. Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my God! What you do in combat is considered <coughs> yeah. six seconds of time, so, yeah. Thanks, Tin Man. Yeah. There, I said it faster. Yeah, okay, go. Uh, what do you do? Um, you are um, now in the wagon. Well, there's nobody. I can't. I'm just hanging out in the back of the wagon. You have a bow. I, what? Yeah, you, you have, have a bow. A bow. I have a bow with arrows. Oh, but there's there's two people at the back. Is there even any more room? Yeah, you can shoot. Even... You can turn around and shoot if you wanted to. Oh, okay, so then that's what I'll do. I'll turn around, go to the back, and I'm going to try to shoot at the. Uh... There's another one coming. There's this one close. There's yeah. this one all the way at the back. Yeah. No, the close one. Okay, go for it. Uh, and then you're gonna go to actions. Uh, nine. I Plus think. Plus what? Actions. Yeah. Um, oh, now I'm stressed because of time here. Actions. Don't uh, be stressed. Where was my actions? This one? Is it in skills? I know. If you hit the little button on the red, the red button on yes. the right, in D&D Beyond, yes. uh, and hit actions, Actions. then it'll tell you your plus for yes. your crossbow. For my crossbow, I don't have a crossbow. Not crossbow, longbow, uh, shortbow. Yes, I have a plus five. Plus five. Yes. That is enough. Um, you let your arrow go, I'd like you to roll damage. So beside it, it'll tell you what damage is. You roll... 1d6, I think? 1d6. Yeah, yes. Plus one D6. Plus what? Plus yes. three. Yeah. Okay. One plus four. Four. Yeah. four. Four points of damage. So your uh, arrow goes through and it catches the side of it and it splits part of its hair and some of the fur goes, but it's it's coming hard still. Oh, um, 
Zoot. And now it's just Zoot and now it's just pissed. <laughs> uh, the Vistani's move again. That's going to be another. Uh, this is all happening at the same time, so yeah. if you guys manage to keep up, then then that's good. Um, Roan. Uh, I dash. Okay. Uh, and attempt to jump onto the... Uh, I, I guess, actually, I don't need to dash if it's still within range. No, you can... Yeah, but what, when you get there, I'd like you to make a dexterity check. All right. Or, or uh, athletics check to make sure that you can pull yourself up while it's moving. Sure. Uh, actually, I'd say ath athletics or acrobatics. Or acrobatics. Sure. You choose. All right, uh, so I'm going to run up to it yeah. and attempt to uh, get on. Yeah. And my acrobatics will be. That'll do. 14. Okay, so you manage to, to, to gra grab up. You grab the, the side and you jump up and you hold onto the side because now Callie is in the doorway. Uh, and just let an arrow go. Uh, so you're not able to get in, but you're hanging off the back of that wagon. Okay. Um, and every time somebody gets on, the wagon moves a little bit slower. Uh, you can feel kind of the weight of it happen, but it's still continuing to move at the pace that it should. Um, I didn't give the wolves their turn, which is happening right now. Oh, dear. Uh, this one continues after. You are now on the back of the wagon. Uh, this one charge. turns towards. <laughs> oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. This one. Um, now you're fast food. As you started to yeah. run, this one's going to chase the wagon a little bit too. Oh, man. This one kind of comes up and tries to hit you again, Dimitri. Oh. Um, Did it move past me close enough to hit? Uh, that one. Uh, that one came around that way. Around mm. this. Tree. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I should. I don't have my sword drawn. Um. You still, I still would have given you an opportunity to attack if it came by, even if you didn't have your sword drawn. What's your armor class? 18. That is not enough. Uh, it, you feel, as oh. you're running, you feel the 16. dire wolf. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you, you, um, you feel the dire wolf. Like, you almost feel the, 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 the snap of its jaw at your back as you're, as you're ah, trying to run and catch that um, thing. Uh, that one there is going to reach up and try and claw, get you off of the, sure. uh, the wagon. Uh, what's your armor class? 12. Oh, that's going to be a hit, sir. All right, I'm going to use my reaction Okay. Uh, to uh, use Hellish Rebuke. So I'll take the damage, but... Uh, that's uh, seven points of damage. Okay, so I'm down to two health. Uh, <laughs> but I will be... Level one. <laughs> uh, I will be using Hellish Rebuke. Uh, so... As he uh, as he claws at me, I turn towards him and fling out my finger towards him, yeah. and shadow starts to bubble around yeah. it, and it blasts forth yeah. it, with uh, force damage. Yeah, uh, you're going to uh, need to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, versus uh, 14. Okay. Um, okay, and I'd like you to make a dexterity saving throw to make sure that you can hold on to a uh, strength uh, saving throw. I'd say. Okay. Uh, I'll give you each one, either one, strength or dex. You decide. Uh, well, I'll take Dex, and that is a solid uh, eight. Um, I'm gonna give. So you start. You so he he actually lets go. He 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 takes it and he tumbles backwards, and he is now prone here. How how much damage did he take from that? Uh, so did he save against the fourteen? No. He didn't save. No. Then he's taking two d10s. Okay. Hello. Yeah. So that's nine. <laughs> And that's and nine, nine. too. Eight, 18 force damage wow. because it's back. Jeez. Ow! It explodes. <laughs> that's um, yeah, he just tumbles in a. He's not. You can see him still moving on the ground, and he's trying to get back up, but he's just a mess of, of fur and, and blood at this point. Um, Do I fall off? You, you, you let go, and you start to see it slip out of your grasp. You are currently have your bow drawn. So you have the opportunity either to drop your bow and grab him, yeah. or hold your bow and continue to, to get ready to shoot. Uh, I'm gonna grab him. Okay, give me the dexterity saving throw. This, mm -hmm. this one. 15. And plus three again. What, that add three to this? Yep. Yeah. Or is that how it works? Yeah. Okay. 18. With an 18, you actually manage to scoot your bow so you don't drop it out. Yeah. You scoot, scoot it behind you, yeah. and you grab his hand so you, now you guys are locked at the wrists, okay. and he's barely hanging on, okay? okay. Yeah. Um, Dimitri. <laughs> <laughs> <You gotta hurry. clears throat> okay. Um, 
I'm so I noticed that this one has yeah. tumbled and yeah. it's prone. Yeah. I'll try to avoid getting anywhere near this one that's running because yeah. all I want to do yeah. is run up and yeah. just try to get on the wagon. Okay. Uh, so you're gonna dash basically. Do I need to dash to make it? I don't know. Count them. It'll be thirty, right? Beyond thirty. Are you, you have are you to dash. Of disengaging? Is that why? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, you'd have to disengage as your action. So so you have to disengage oh, unless you want an opportunity to attack. This one's on so me? 5, 10, yeah, 15, 20, 25. I would Brace. get you there. Right, right. I'll, I'll allow you to get there. You're going to make a acrobatics or athletics check to get onto that wagon. Can I fling my hand out as she's holding <laughs> on to me? A human chain. <laughs> okay, let's see how he does first this on his own. Yeah, I might make it up before we... Um, okay, so athletics or... I'm assuming athletics because you have a crazy strength, don't you? Yes. So let's do that. Athletics. Okay, so I will be uh, forfeiting a disengage action in order to yeah. run. Uh, wait. No, 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 you don't have to run. You got there. I said you got there in 30. So, okay. you, so you can still do the disengage, not take the opportunity to attack, and get there. But now you're making athletics check to try and get inside the wagon. Okay, is that... Then that's a bonus action to get in? Yeah, or? yeah, I'm allowing that at the end of your movement. Okay, athletics. I'm not going to kill you first session. Yeah. <laughs> All right, 22. 22. With a 22, uh, you manage to get up top and just strong arm your way onto the wagon. Yeah, uh, yeah. And now you are hanging on the other side. You guys are in. And that is where we'll end the session for this oh, evening. Wow. wow. Well done, guys. You guys are now all together in a wagon. Yeah. <laughs> we did How did it feel? We did it. You're in a wagon. Man. Bunch of adventures in a we wagon. Won strong, guys. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you won. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Was that fun? Yeah. Was, yeah. Fun. was that everything you that wanted? Was really in the good. First session? Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's that so was... much more, guys. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'm so, so excited. Uh, a couple quick announcements before we go. We're almost out of time here. I want to thank everyone. I want to thank our, uh, our sponsors again, as usual, Wiz Kids and Sirenscape for all of your support. D&D, uh, &D, of course, for having us on your Twitch. Uh, thank you for all the um, donations, and thank you for all of the follows. We saw them come through, and this is just going to get crazier. We're going to have all kinds of things behind us that light up when you do things, and we're very, very excited about doing all that and making you folks a part of this. Again, next Sunday, we'll be painting more PCs from these guys on the next show uh, at Knowles' uh, Marvelous Tutorials with Realm Smith at 5 o'clock on Sunday. If you want to check out our adventure boxes, you can do that at realmsmith.tv. And then again, if you like what you saw, please follow us on YouTube at slash realmsmith and at Twitch at slash realmsmith. And of course, follow and subscribe to your D&D channel. Thank you so much, everyone. You guys uh, excited about next Monday? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a blast. How will we die first is the question. <laughs> uh, <And then> we... <laughs> you, you escaped wolves, so we'll see. Oh, right, right. So we'll see what happens next time. <laughs> Say bye, everyone. Bye, guys. See you guys next week.